Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Minecraft stream. Hope you're having a fantastic day this morning. Now, I'm not much of a morning person. I've, uh, I don't know, I have troubles falling asleep at night. I don't particularly like getting up early in the morning, but I keep morning, I keep morning, I keep moving my starting time earlier and earlier in terms of like when I wake up and shower and hang out. And it's been good. It's been just like a really good positive change to my life. Look at how chipper I am this morning. Yeah, I've uh, I've moved all of my alarms forward an additional 20 minutes. Uh, that's right, plural alarms. I am not a, to show again the lack of morning person, it takes me three alarms to wake up in the morning uh, over a period of about 45 minutes. There's the first alarm, which like prepares me to wake up. There's the second alarm, at which point Joe, who's an absolute sweetie, is like, I'll start coffee. And then there's the third alarm. I'm like, okay, it's time to get up. And this has been great. I get to like sit on the couch and read for a bit before the day starts. I didn't have to like panic rush in the morning. I mean, I'm still doing my my um, speech warm up exercises in the shower, which is probably a mistake because that's how you get uh, that's how you get shampoo in your mouth. <laughs> but but here we are. So good morning, everybody. Have I been betrayed, says Tiberius? We'll see. We'll see. That's pretty funny. Uh, I got a couple subs to welcome, and let's jump on right into this. ZP, thank you for that Twitch Prime and 15 months of support. Hadouken to you as well. And all good dogs. has been here for five months. That's half a year. I'll take your words for it. I mean, look, last time I tried to... Every time I count, something's wrong now. You swam two miles. It's a lot of swimming. That's a lot of swimming. All right, what am I doing? Right, I hit this button, and then I hit this button. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I spent a little bit of time playing some Minecraft over the weekend, getting stuff ready. I... Ah. <laughs> uh, I didn't do this. What? <laughs> Can I, perchance, interest you in some stonks? Oh! <laughs> I think Joe Kim's slime farm is working. Oh! Backlog, more like slime log. Oh, God. Oh, Joe claimed the sh Joe sh cleared the shame wall, and then it looks like I filled it again. All right, well, that's awkward. What else is happening here? Please buy stonks. Oh, he was thorough. Oh, he was really thorough. What happens when you mash up villagers into paste? Intense <laughs> slime stonks. Huh. Slime stonks are better than spider stonks. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Apparently, the new trick here is to invest in slime stonks. Magic stonks. Wah! I'm sure that was supposed to be a Waluigi impersonation. Alright, uh... I guess we clean... How much slime do we have now? There's so much slime. It's everywhere. Oh, I guess there's no getting in or out either, eh? <laughs> Alright. The ceiling? Wow, we got ourselves at least a stack here. Uh, no fire. Joe, we got slimed. <laughs> I like how Joe was like, ah, friendship, generosity. You have so much slime now, you won't even need any stonks, I guess? I don't know. There's a bunch of... Uh, oh, right. We were going to make an on-off switch on the mob farm now that we have all this slime. Ooh. Wait. Oh, God. There's a chest, too. What's in the box? Oh! Oh, oh, that's a lot of slime. Holy moly. Yo. Uh, we might need our very own slime box now. Or maybe this, this box isn't actually all that full. Yo. Yo. Yes, we are now slime rich, which is excellent news. 
All right, let's talk about what I want to do today. Uh, up next, house, collect materials for gold farm. So, collect materials for gold farm. Check this out. I did a bunch of preparations. And these are all the materials that we need for the Nembom gold farm. Which is a lot. Especially when you scroll down to the bottom, you realize it's two pages. It says 4,000 magma blocks, grindstones, trapdoors, turtle eggs, a stack and a half of string. So... I've gotten basically all of this done. Uh, I haven't made the glass a particular color yet. We can figure that out or not. Can we make a giant trampoline with all the slime? Oh, you know we could. So the gold farm... The gold farm is going to be a different project. But here's some problems we ran into. Uh, glazed terracotta. We don't have any of. And 11 honey blocks. Not only do I not have honey blocks. No one on the server yet has honey blocks. Also, we need two stacks of shroom lights. It can't be sea lanterns. It has to be shroom lights. So I thought we could start today's stream by doing two things. One, um, we want to get... We'll, we'll just go to the nether as our sort of like our warm-up activity. We'll grab some shroom lights because that'll be a lot of fun. And the second thing we're going to do today, for the first time ever, because I never really played during 1.15, we're going to make bees! Uh, I've written down all the information we need for a honey farm. Yeah, today we're going to learn about bees. I saw some people in chat screaming beej. Close, but not quite. We're not we're not farming bee beeches. Oh my god. Joe made iced tea? Yo. Alright, so let's uh let's head to the nether. And let's get ourselves uh two stacks of uh, maybe a little bit more than two stacks. Let's get ourselves some shroom lights. And also, if you didn't believe me, look at this. There's the glass. Here's all the materials for the everything so far. So this is for the uh, this is for the storage system. This is for the farm itself. And then if you go into the magma blocks, we have one, two, three, four shulkers. They're not completely full, but pretty much. I mean, I guess if I consolidated these two, how many would that be? I think we'd be pretty close to having three full shulkers of magma, which is pretty close. Um, I, it's definitely over. 4,000 blocks is only two shulkers, and we have like two and change. So yeah. How much gold could you possibly need? You haven't seen piglin bartering yet, have you? Uh, thank you very much to Mr. Force of Will. Uh, for three months of support, new day, new bean. Time for a gold farm just outside the nether. Thank you for three months of support. Enjoy your new bean. And Gunner with those 50 biddies. No one on the server has honey blocks. Unbelievable. Thank you, my friend. Would we farm beach if beach produced honey? I... I... Mm. <laughs> ah. All right. I don't want those gold booties yet. All right. <clears throat> to the nether. How unexpected. The Spanish Inquisition. Thank you for 28 months of support, my friend. That's so long. And then something else I'd like to do today. Oh, right. Let's, sorry. Let's write down our whole goal. Oof. Uh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. All right, I already have signs on me, but let's let's do this today. Today on the show. All right, we need three stacks because we want extras of shroom lights. Yeah, then uh, bees. Uh, then time permitting, we want to finish house. I don't wanna I don't wanna put it off and never actually finish that. Uh, and then actually I'm just gonna put it on the backlog. Uh, mob mob farm off switch. Clap, 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 clap. Gold farm, lighthouse, house, house. Uh, we should probably just like seal mob farm. I mean, that's kind of all in the, like, the lighthouse stuff, but, you know, so it goes. Needs more ease? 
Important thing I learned this week, slime and honey don't stick to each other. Interesting. Do we have endgame gear? Oh, we sure do. Oh, we, we are we are in the end game now, my friends. Whoop. Hold on. There's a scale for measuring spiciness. Measures how many parts honey to one part pepper through which you can taste it. Really? Now, give me one second here. Uh, let's try and... Oh, oh, we're actually not that wealthy. Oh, I also want to um, expand the sugarcane. I just realized there's another thing that should be added to our wall. We're not producing sugarcane in a volume enough to threaten anything. The nice thing about the current design we have is we can just stack up like, like an onion or an ogre. It has layers, so we can just go up with it. And that'll make it better. Okay. Spawn point is set. Yeah. Are they slowly walking out to sea? How romantic. Uh, do I have enough food? Do I have enough rockets? This bucket needs water in it. All right, now we just have to fly to a forest biome and start collecting ourselves some shroom lights. Is there like an interesting way to... I just picked a random direction, by the way. I didn't actually look in any particular way. Oh, I could follow an old path. It's kind of exciting. Is there a way to specifically farm? Aha! Like regrow the tree, I guess. I guess I could grab some of these mushrooms and bring them back, right? Do I care to mine the entire tree or just take the lights? Let's just take the lights. If you plant another mushroom on mycelium, then bone meal. Wait, hold on. You can just farm the entire tree? How do you get the mushroom to drop? Is it if you break the leaf? No, that just picks it up. Because, wait, if you, you bone meal Nicelium directly. Oh, right. I need a hoe for this. Okay. Well, let's, let's just do that. Why risk our lives when we can farm it, eh? Nope. Nope, that was incorrect. Oh, it's a pickaxe. Not a shovel. Got it. Weird. Huh. Okay, so I've picked up the Neelium. Netherrack with a mushroom frosting, eh? Okay, let's put this away for now. So I have two, one mushroom as a starter. That's probably not enough. Let's grab a couple more, just in case, right? Two. Yeah. Three. murder hole there. Four. Perfect. Okay. So that should be plenty. And now, now we head home. Which was kind of over the... Oh, hey, look! Huh. Oh, I, I still have the Optifine shaders off if you're wondering why my nether looks so clear. Right. Okay. So there's stone that I could follow this way. And then this goes down here. Okay. 
Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, God, what am I doing? Surge? No one has obviously ever been this way. What are you doing? Where am I? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Alright, well, we're lost. Oh, this way. <laughs> are you are you kidding me? I went right oh, my goodness. If you want to farm the mushrooms, make sure you're bone mealing a large section of neelium. Okay. I recognize this section now. Uh, let's quickly run to the mob farm and grab ourselves a bunch. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of uh, bones. Because we're going to be doing some bone meal in here. You can farm all the small nether vegetation through similar to the flower farm just neelium oh that's kind of cool you just do like a a piston back and forth thingy with a bone meal dispenser and you just get uh drops equal to the amount of bone you put into it that's actually mega cool all right actually while i'm here why not This might be a weird question. Do real life bones act as fertilizer? Or is that just a weird Minecraft thing? It's like, where did this idea that you can fertilize with bones come from? Yes, IRL bones are also fertilizer, wild. Oops, whoops. All right. Uh, I have a box of miscellaneous nether stuff, right? No? Ah, yes, I do. Right here. Fantastic. Oh, I had a little bit of this already. All right, that's fine. Bring that with me. I have an extra mushroom for now. Oh, mushroom stem. Hey, I already have some shroom lights. All right, we'll keep those to the side and we'll get ourselves... How many do we need? Two stacks? Oh, my God. That's so much. So many stacks. Ah, because I'm just realizing how much chop chop that represents, eh? Alright. Uh, let's make ourselves a couple more rockets here. Alright, that means I'm going to need quite a bit of paper. How much paper do I have access to? One stack, two stack, three stack. See, this is why I need to expand the sugarcane farm. Like, how are we ever going to max out all of our, uh, all of our villagers if that's all we have for paper trading, right? It's embarrassing. Is this enough to fill this box yet? That's my goal, by the way. Just rockets for days. And I still don't know why the rocket recipe never shows up here. It's like, there's a, quite a few recipes that just never, never show up in the crafting menu, and fireworks is one of them. I don't get why that is. Star Wars THX 1138 with 15 months of support. Wasn't it just 12, like, a week ago? 
Yeah, I mean, yes, your guess is as good as mine. Who knows anymore, my friend? But thank you very much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. All right, we did it. We now are firework rich. That means Jo should be able to help herself to some of our firework wealth whenever she wants to. All right, we've got a Nilium. Nilium? Ni How do I pronounce that? Is it a soft Y or a hard Y? Nilium or Nilium? Isn't it because there's three recipes? I guess, but it's weird that it doesn't show up at all, right? Bill Nye? All right, Nylium, got it. But if people are talking about different recipes, I mean, when you have like trap doors, it'll cycle through different colors. When you have dyed wool or dyed glass, it shows all the options and cycles through all the colors, right? Like, I don't know if that's a good... Oh, by the way, I also, also, did some mushroom chopping so we get more stems because it's a beautiful block. Joe Kim, I found uh I found your your commercial venture. Uh very, very interesting there. Uh you have my attention regarding uh possible business partner with some stonks, I think you is how you put it. Wait, should I just do a five by five? One, two, three, four, five. Stonk trade is a go? All right, it's beautiful. All right, so apparently if I do this. Oh! Oh! Wait, um. I'd like to report a bug. Or is that normal? All right, very interesting. I'm gonna need more chests. What do I even do with half of these blocks now? All right, nobody tell Joe I'm making even more shame chests. <laughs> no, she heard! Wait, I have more paper on me? Ugh. Do I need those? Oh, right. And I'm supposed to use the hoe here? That's right? Or something? Am I going to have to make this a netherite hoe? So, if I want these... Ooh! Um, I'm also going to need scaffolding, apparently. Where's my scaffolding? Is it in my survival box? No. Do I not have... Hmm... It's a mystery. Because if I just set up scaffolding next to this, I'll be super zoomy, right? Maybe all my scaffolding is in one of these boxes. Yes! There we go. I'm going to need more than 40, aren't I? Welcome, Akira. Welcome, everybody. I just got right on into... Uh, right on into building today. Missed quite a few people coming into chat. Thank you for joining me, friends. Hope you're having a great day. All right, so, oh yeah, so zoomy. Ah! All right, so reminder, our goal is to get two stacks of, uh, of these shroom lights. So that might take us a bit of time here as we get what? One per tree? Are you kidding me? Two per tree? Oh, this is going to take... This is going to take a while. Well, I suppose as I go through this mechanical task, what up, my friends? How's your day? Tell me some good news. 
My good news, I didn't get a single mycelium on that one, that's not good news, is uh, we got an air conditioner yesterday. Wait, hold on, you can break the mycelium too? That's not good for us and the longevity of this build. Oh, that's exciting. What an exciting looking tree. Build a machine for it? I don't think we can make a machine that specifically grabs just the shroom stuff, right? Like, I can't think of a way to automate this. Because of the weird shape of the tree, like, I don't know if a, um, like, a TNT tree farm would actually do a good job on this either. If you netherrack the bone meal, become Nilium again? Nilium again? Build Nilium again? Okay. Like, would a TNT tree farm work for this? Oh, that's really cool. Tango built a TNT farm, but I realize you can make TNT farms. Uh, I guess we need to finish the sentence. A TNT farm specifically for this type of farm. Rendog may have made one as well. Interesting. Yes, for nether trees. Oh, God. All right. Well, that wasn't... That wasn't my goal for today. I didn't realize how ridiculously long this is going to take. Psycraft made a fully AF cable auto nether tree farm. I'm going to allow that message. Alright, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep going until I have a couple of these. And just like, hang out and chat. And then I'd much rather spend today doing bee stuff, because that's what I actually planned for. I typically don't like to approach a farm without any prep work. So, for example, for, like, honey stuff today, other than getting bees, which I have literally no idea how to do, because I thought that'd just be kind of fun to, like, go in blind. Um, I've already got, like, the materials list ready for a honey farm and, like, an idea of how to make it and all that stuff, which I think, which I think is just a lot more interesting than just kind of going into this fully blind. And then, I don't know, maybe we make right off the area where our, um, where our mob farm is. We also make ourselves, like, a pretty cool little farm area. You know, as the hermits would say, an industrial area. Just put all our redstone there and keep this island pretty. Yeah, I've also never... Well, that's not entirely true. I once made a, um... A TNT farm, just in creative, just to see what it was like, just to make all the redstone there. But I've never actually man managed to make one of those in survival before. So that'd also be pretty cool. And a final thought on not wanting to jump into it too quick. I know, uh, talking to James, he's been interested in maybe doing one of those farms. So I don't want to duplicate any, like, massive work on the server, right? By your estimates, it'll apparently take about 30 minutes a stack at this current method. So what are you trying to say? Are you saying my method is slow? How dare you? No, that's that's fair. Yeah, and especially if we're going to want more of that later. Absolutely makes sense to... What's up, Eevee? Oh, no. Sorry to hear you're... Having a rough day, especially pain-wise. Exploring the nether could be faster? Maybe. Could be more interesting, that's for sure. Alright, look, we have ten. What's the problem here, chat? We have ten already. Just zooming through this. Hold on, the farm needs ancient debris? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Might be faster just to hunt. Let's let's go for an adventure there. Yeah, we need 128 TNT proof. Interesting. Yeah, let's put all this stuff away. Let's just go hunt for stuff. We won't chop down trees. We'll just steal what we need. And then leave. A 
I think the ancient debris might just be a flex because you could probably use. I imagine you could use um, obsidian. Sure, that's exactly what I want to do with those boots. Is just throw them on the ground. All right, we're going back to the Nether, equipped with our ooh, equipped with our hoe. Our mob sounds are on. I'm gonna turn off the music while we're uh, in the Nether. I love the Nether. Wait, it has to be movable, and and blast resistant. Oh my god. Who makes these? Oh, I forgot my nether chest. All right, I need my ender chest. Ancient debris is both TNT proof and movable. What a world we live in. Have I done TNT mining yet? I'll have you know that I enjoy my bed method and I that sounds a little disrespectful <clears throat> to say that you don't like my very efficient I might add my very efficient get out of here I what part of get out of here did you misunderstand haha -ha. I, I said, haha. -ha. You know what? If you're not going to try, I won't either. Yeah. I see light. Where are we coming from there? All right. One. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. A lot more lava in this method. Ooh, that's a big tree. Who was I watching the other day? I was watching an Iskal video. Iskal just mined. He didn't use TNTs or beds or anything. He mined like... Who watched that latest episode from Iskal? It was 10 blocks. He just mined the whole thing. No explosives or anything. He just wanted to like hang out in the, in the nether and just clear blocks. So like... If people have a method that differs from your method, I think it's okay. As long as everyone's having fun. The new nether dimension is amazing, and I absolutely love it. Alright, yep, yeah, this is much faster. I think we can all agree that just, like, hunting for stuff now is uh, not all that bad. It's going to make this area, you know, pretty ugly, unfortunately, as we strip out all the very pretty lights, but... So it goes... I don't even think we're going to be seeing much of the nether anyways, as we just live inside of our nether hub. You want a similar update for the end now? Hold. Oh, hello, pig. Uh, aren't there? Yeah, there's little mushrooms nearby. Get out of here, you pig butt. I wonder if pigs will smash your scaffolding. Ooh, I wonder if I should just go about from the treetops. And then once I'm done, just like run around down below. Ooh, that could be a fun method as well. Excuse me? God, these things are tanks. Wait, where did those lights go? Did I just did I just drop them into lava? Oh my god. Alright, my plan to drop a couple and then go back and pick them up uh, was obviously not that smart. The lights could despawn. Well, they'll have five minutes to despawn. This is the issue. 
It's not them despawning, it's them falling somewhere that we weren't paying attention to, like here. Right? Which would involve a tremendous amount of work and no profit. Yeah. Rectangle pigs. It's a good name. Yeah. I wonder what it is about the farm that specifically requires shroom lights, but that's fine. So what's up, friends? How's your week going? What are you excited about? As I was mentioning, I think I got distracted before I finished the story. We've got a new air conditioner. Which is very, very, very interesting because it was... Uh, I don't know what this translates to uh, for Americans. It was 28 degrees with uh, no air movement. And my apartment... Ah, little pig! My apartment faces a direction where we get all of the sun and none of the breeze. Four days off work? Very nice. And I realize a bunch of people will be like, you know, laughs in desert or something like that. And you're like, where I live, it's 42 degrees and 800% humidity. Look, my, my, fair, my poor, fair Canadian constitution couldn't handle it. Ah, somebody did the math. Thank you, Tiberius. 82. I thought it was getting closer to the 90s, but again, I don't actually know how the how the numbers line up with each other. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh no. Wow. All right, we're almost at a stack already. That's great news. Yeah, it's currently 37 degrees where you are. Oh, oof. Uh, uh, please be safe. Skip. That's too hot. It's about 31 where you are. Yeah. Holy moly, friends. Alright, I forgot that you can break scaffolding so fast you can actually take fall damage. Look at this tree! Hello! That's so many lights. Wait, can you get, like, double thick trees? How did this tree come to existence? Can you make, like, a, um, a 2x2 two two base with mushrooms? Tis a mere 29 degrees Celsius where you are. Oofa. 34 degrees? Alright. Wait, is that an angry pig? That's a yes to an angry pig. Haha! -ha. Let me introduce you to a bow and arrow, pig. Got him. Let me introduce you to science. <laughs> uh, was there anyone else, anything else up here? I'll head back down now. Oh, wow. Pig gang right over there. Hello. Oh, my scaffolding. May, may I have that back? Hello? Uh, <laughs> uh, hello, hello, child. What if I, what if I gave you this very nice, where'd you go? What if I gave you this and come back here, please? My scaffolding. You there, child? Look at look. No, no. It's the pig scaffolding now. That's so rude. Oh, give him one of my carrots. Great idea. All right, yo, hey. Yeah. Okay. Can I have my scaffolding back? 
Yes, 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 you're a genius. All right, well, they're murdering the pigs, which is good for us. Ow! <laughs> Do a better job. So hard to get good help these days. Get out of here. All right, how are we doing? Wow, that was perfectly our first stack. That's not bad, actually. That's a lot faster. The pigs seem pretty cool with me, just like selectively logging portions of their forest. Oh man, can you imagine if there are little pig huts like in uh, Don't Starve? How cool would that be? Oh, all right. Here here we have the danger shroom light. What are we gathering lights for? Uh, it's part of the gold farm. That's going to be a little bit later. Oh no. All right, hold on, hold on. Pig friends? Pig friends? Pig fr Pig friends? Um, I, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I thought they were hostile. <sighs> All right, uh, we're starting to get a little bit of slim pickings here. I'm going to grab this last visible one, and I think it's time to find a new... A new forest. Oh, wow. This is a good last one to check out. Ah, there's some more visible ones there. Alright, maybe I'm not done here. Maybe regrow for you the trees. I'm not too worried about it. Like, again... Sort of the, the weird thing about Minecraft, right? Sometimes you just designate areas to, like, grab all the resources, and then you have areas you build in. And as far as I know, there isn't really a goal for us to build in any of these areas right now. I don't think it's too worth our time, to be honest. Wait, oh good, they're all there. Oh, I was not I wasn't even close to done here. Alright. Just the weird little subsection I was looking at there. I seem to be slowly losing all of my uh scaffolding though. These pigs, by the way, they can kill us in like four hits. It's not very long. Doesn't take very long at all. Yeah, so this is our, of our just like chill warm up task for today. Oh, there we go. I love the music in the nether. What do the hoglins drop? Pork chops and leather. Yep. Banger alert. You got it. Ooh. Uh, let's just rock it on up there. I thought about throwing a torch. Or torch. I thought about throwing a pearl. And then thought of all the ways that that could go poorly. Wow, these are some really tall trees. 
Okay, got there. Like, can we grow trees like this one? That's a very pretty tree. An idea when I'm going to return to modded, uh, probably only when modded, like when a lot of the major mod packs get to 1.15, 1.16. The fact that like a lot of the still really big things aren't quite there yet, I just can't go back to another 1.12. I can't go back to modded not having at least the aquatic update or anything like that. And I realize some, some things are starting to catch up. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a full season of vanilla. Like, I'm very, very, very excited to play a bunch of vanilla, vanilla for a bit. I don't even have modded on my, on my mind. Not having 1.13 is a very big deal. Yeah, exactly. Is there another light around the corner here? A little bit wary of that lava there. All right, what are we at? We're at... Wow. This was so much faster! So, previously we said it was going to take, um, uh, that's danger? Ah, uh, that's not too dangerous. It was going to take us 30 minutes for a stack. And it looks like this way is twice as fast? Question mark? Takes us 30 minutes for an hour? <laughs> I wonder what the condition is for them to fight. Because it looks like they don't fight right away. Hmm. Yeah, one point... Like, what was the thing? 1.13 was water. 1.14 was villager illager. 1.15 was honey blocks. 1.16 is the nether now. And then 1.17. I just really worry about the state of modded... And if it's going to be able to keep up with sort of the new content roadmap that Mo Yang has been making. Like, they are they are releasing a lot of stuff basically all the time. Which is mega cool. But it's like, if they're always so far behind, if they don't have a way to sort of keep up what's going to happen, right? And don't get me wrong, I know that there are some mods that are getting there, but when you look at sort of like the really big like modded experiences that we've gotten sometimes, I just don't know if there's that support there yet. I am not an authority on modded Minecraft, by the way. Basically, everything I'm saying is just regurgitated things from Serafina, who I, I treat as sort of the authority on this. Hey, what's up, King of Carrot Flowers? Uh, today's plan is bees! And what I'm doing right now has nothing to do with bees, but we'll get there. Where am I looking right now? Not the bees. What are you talking about? Everybody loves the bees. What the... What is that? Oh, that must be someone's build. That ain't natural. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I was really confused for a second as to what I was looking at. No, not the sea of lava. That weird staircase right there. That's what threw me off. Hey! That was exactly two stacks. All right, let's head home. Speaking of which, where is home? It's like up from here, right? Home?
Hello? Uh-oh. Alright, I'm now lost in the woods. Oh, I love that description, Ember. Was it Ember who said that? Oh, God. That message is gone. Somebody said, I'm really looking for a complete mod experience rather than just a mod that's vanilla plus. And I think that's a very great way of sort of describing the issue right now is there are some mods that are out there that add some neat things, but in terms of like, air quotes, the modded experience, yeah. Uh, Dreaded Coconut asks, not familiar with the new fungi nether, are you breaking things with a hoe? Is there an enchantment or is that the tool itself? They've actually made it so that the hoe is the uh, designated block to break a lot of things now, which is kind of cool. Yeah, the full kit that people are going to have, like, I put mending on a diamond hoe. Welcome, welcome to 1.16 where you actually use this tool now. All right, so we now have all of the shroom lights we're going to need for that farm, which is very exciting. You should get a lodestone. I, sure. Maybe, eventually, probably. I don't know. I don't, what if I just don't die? How about that, MGF-16? But don't need a lodestone if you don't die, forehead. I think I have one already, maybe? Yeah, I've got two. What if I had two lodestones? Hey, what's up, MGD New York girl? Hope you're doing good, my friend. Oh, the lodestone's the compass, not even the respawn? Okay. What? Which even one's the respawn? These things are mega expensive, by the way. <clears throat> They're so expensive. Oh, you're saying get a lodestone so I don't have to use my coordinates. Uh, sure. I don't know. Getting a compass. All right. Our next goal now is going to be to get some bees. And that's going to be very interesting because I've never done that before. All right. Uh, let's go make friends with bees, chat. So I think I have to find a flower biome or like a an oak biome and I specifically have to get beehives that have three bees in them so I wonder where that is we've got our biome finder here let's find our seed so we're looking for a an, an oak forest. What are the various things we're looking for here? All right, so this is where we're located. This is the jungle. Maybe wooded hills or the flower forest. Where am I looking here? You can grow your own trees here, I thought. I thought you needed to find, if you grow trees next to flowers, you can get your own bees. Interesting. Really? I mean, let's try that out. That'd be really cool if I don't have to go find, oh my goodness, pardon me. If I don't need to go find bees. You like, you like Joe's, oh right, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, this is Joe's complete transformation of Cat Island. She made a little cat fort right there. I've been told I don't necessarily have to explore. Wait, 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 wait. But don't I want, don't I want full beehives? I want beehives with three bees in them. What happens if I end up with like a little baby immature nest that only has like one bee in it? I don't know if I want to have to figure out how to breed bees.
Yeah, breeding bees does not sound like the type of energy I want right now. You breed them with flowers? Nah, I'm just gonna go. Nah, I'm just gonna go find full beehives. I don't have to wait for them to mature. I need for this to work. I need three adult bees. It's a chance you take. Growing them can be just as time intensive as finding them. Let's have, let's explore. I haven't really explored anything. Hello, squid. What's... You got a problem with that boat? Alright, where was I? We're back here. It's good to know I can maybe top it up if I need to. So there's a birch forest... That goes into a swamp and a forest biome. Great. And a flower forest. Alright, we're gonna go... East, southeast, and we're gonna go find ourselves some bees. Somebody said bring a campfire with you. I thought you want to go at night anyways, don't you? I don't know. I'll bring a campfire just in case. I don't know how any of this works. This is my first exposure to bees, chat. My first exposure. Hopefully I'm not allergic. Yeah, we're going to find out if I'm allergic to bees or not. <sighs> Alright, so just south of the jungle is where we're going to find the forest we're looking for. On the other side of this very small mountain. Aha! Alright. Look, we found our first beehive. We found our first bee! Hello! Okay, so we're hoping that there are three bees here, right? One, two. Ooh. Ooh. And is this an adolescent bee or is this an adult bee? Oh, you're you're adorable. I love this. Hey, what's up, Gunner? Thank you for 50 bits. Hopefully this search doesn't take too long. It's sting to waste hours combing the server for bees. So I need eight hives for the farm design I'm looking for. We're using a shulker craft design. I'm looking for eight farms that have three bees each. Total of eight hives and 24 bees. And I believe I have to wait until night to harvest them. As that's when they all go home. They like sleep in their hive at night. Can you transport them? Yes, you can pick up beehives with Silk Touch, which I have. No, we're bee napping. I just hope there's three here. I don't know how to tell like how far the the bee exploration range is from their hive. We know there's two. We've seen at least two. Let's explore during the daytime to see if we can't find another hive. Wait, did I just, like, Luxac into the first one? Oh, there's another beehive up there. Where's your home? Alright, I can see all the pollen on your butt. Take me to your home. Go home, bee, you're drunk. Aha! Uh -huh. Second B, great. Where is your hive? Where is your home? Ah, uh, bees. 
Be ah, there it is. Okay, great. All right, so Hive the second found, good. Now, looking for another one. I guess we can just go for a fly. There we go. There we go. All right. So I believe bees especially recently, have been patched. So they'll never fly too, too far from their home. Here's a question for those of you a little bit more knowledgeable than me. Are hives typically full when you find them, or is there a chance? They'll be like a random... Like, the maximum number of bees in a hive is three. Got the bee puns in chat. Or am I going to have to do some breeding regardless? Where's your hive? Have you missed all the bee puns yet? Oh no, I assure you. People are going to be making bee puns all day. I find them with two usually. Okay, so what I'm probably going to have to do... I'm probably going to have to do some bee breeding either way, huh? Throwing around all these buzzwords. Okay, I can't find this other hive. Where is this other hive? Just because you can't get three doesn't mean you need to avoid You get to avoid it? Right, that's fair. Where Where is your home? Yeah, specifically the farm warns that if you have baby bees, they can fly out and everything will break. Nobody wants that. No, no, no. Okay, there's two bees here. Okay. Good. That must mean we're getting closer. Serge, it doesn't mean anything. And Serge. Oh my god, I can't find this hive. Bees, why you do this? I feel like I'm walking in the same circle over and over and over, somehow expecting the result to be different. Hello, baby sheep. You're adorable. Do you know where the bees are? <sighs> Have I tried asking the bees? I have not, no. All right, whatever, let's go this way. Oh, I literally just found one I'd found before. Are you home? I can't tell. How do I tell? At least it's a big giant circle. Boo. All right. So the sun is setting. So when the sun sets, the bees go home. Maybe we missed that? Or are they on their way home now? Hmm. I don't see any more bees flying about. How can I tell how many bees are in here? Hello? Listen to the hive? Oh my god, you can hear bees in the hive! I thought you were kidding. Okay. Now go to sleep. Shh.
Okay, all right, so now we remove all these torches and we go find the next one. Are there parrots in Minecraft? There are, Tomily. You find them in the jungle. Okay, and now we want to go fly up and find the other spot we lit up. That was wrong. There wasn't actually anything up there. Okay, our other one was over here. Now, oh, hello. Okay. So, I don't... Shh. Yeah, you don't even need... You don't need... At night, if they're already asleep in their farm, you don't need to pacify them with a campfire. Two tags. I wonder... I think that means there's only two bees inside of this one. Interesting. Okay. Kill it. No. We need the bees for honey. You're so violent. We don't need to kill things. Bees are friends. Oh, hold on. Yes, okay, okay. We saw that bee. Okay. Where's your home, little sleepy buddy? Where's your home? Wait, hold on. What? Wait, 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 wait. What if I... What if I did this? Will you, will you go into that hive? That's a creeper. That's not a creeper. Are you, are you drunk? How could that one be full? They both say two. All right, let's try switching to the other hive. Hello? Will you go into that hive? No, I think that bee's just drunk. Okay, okay. Now this bee's flying up this hill. Is there a higher hive nearby? No, I think you're just drunk. Poor drunk bee. Get its attention with a flower? Oh, interesting. Let's give that a try. All right, drunken bee, where are you? Hello? Oh, you do love me. Okay, all right, now. Hello? Hello? Do you like this hive? Do you, do you wanna... Oh, we did it! Okay. Ah, it still says two tags. There's no way to tell those apart. Okay, so we know... All right, maybe the plan is actually... If it's full, we put it in the shulker box. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, so we now have one that has three in it, and we saw another bee around here somewhere. You! You there, idiot bee! I have a flower! <laughs> Love me! Hey, what's up, Adam J. Ford? Thank you very much for 14 months of support. I've got everything turned up super loud right now. Are you following me? Great. Hello. Yo, shh. Bee friend. Yes, good. 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 Oh, look! Look, a bee home. A bee home. Bee? bee? Idiot bee? Come back. Look, 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 it's a nest. I. Maybe this one's already full. Maybe, maybe this one's already full.
This B. Uh oh. Alright. We're gonna say that this hive is also full. It's the only conclusion we could come to. Okay, uh, time to skedaddle out of here. I can see it's getting a little dangerous. Let's see if we can't find more bees. More bees! Hello. Right, this is the area I was in before. Oh, I might need to sleep. Just so we don't die, and we'll start this search again for the next day. If you smoke it and then shear it, you can make an artificial nest. I don't want to do any breeding right now. I want to see if I can't just find a bunch. We'll take a look at stuff afterwards. This is more interesting to me personally. Just trying to like learn how to spot beehives and how to learn to get them into places. I imagine like many of you are potentially very experienced in the art of bee stuff. This is my first time doing anything with bees. I'm okay to kind of take it a little bit slower. All right, there's another bee over there. And don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the help. Aha, okay, okay, we found another beehive, great. So we're going to torch this one up. And it definitely looks like there are stray bees. Which is very, very interesting to me. I wouldn't have expected there to be so many stray bees. The bees are mega cute, right? Okay, that's just a potentially a stray bee. So, is there a chance that bees spawn without a nest? Or do they all start with a nest somewhere, but they can potentially get lost? Like, I'm really confused as to how many bees there are compared to the number of nests we're finding. Bees always spawn from hives. Yes, I, I saw the message the first time, Apache. I can, yes, I see that I can make a stray nest to collect stray bees. I'm not interested in doing that right now, though, friend. I understand. I just want to collect hives. I just want to be a beekeeper. I just want to find and love the bees. Hello, zombie friends. Serge relishes the hunt. Oh, that's what that is. Cool. What have we found? Some obsidian. Some flint and steel. Fire charge. Cool. I don't know if I care about any of this, but that's always exciting to me. Free gold. I thought we may have stumbled across somebody's base. Alright, let's get some more rockets here. I... Hello? Hello, Serge. One of my friends keeps bees. They are legacy hive from his late father. Bees are super neat. That's really cool. You're hoping that the SAS plan was just a link to the script from the bee movie? Wow. I was kind of hoping the SAS plan was just that Oprah like bees gif. Because that's like classic internet gif. But you know, the, uh, the mods had their own plans. And those plans are valid too. Oh, I have fighting music right now. Wait, is that actually what the SAS plan is? Oh my god. 
<laughs> all right. Well, uh, apparently myself and the mods are on the same page after all. Yeah, if we can find two hives a day, I'll feel pretty good about this. All right, I see another bee. Oh, we're in this interesting hybrid jungle, no jungle here. Hello, bee friends. Why must you be so camouflaged? I never knew this, but bees are actually striped so they can perfectly camouflage in the forest like a zebra. Thank you for subscribing to Bee Facts. That's not a real bee fact. Ah, all right, another bee. No, those are cows. What the? Can we be ye friends? This reminds me of like, I choo choo choose you, and there's a picture of a train. Wow, hives are potentially more rare than I thought they were. After we, oh, wait, did I literally just spot another hive? <laughs> oh no, it was one we already found? Oh no. <clears throat> all right, we might have to be breeding bees after all and making artificial hives chat. I'm a little bit disappointed, but uh, this is pretty slow going here. Ha! <sighs> Who knew the needle in a haystack of Minecraft was actually spotting the bees in the forest? Yeah, 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 I understand that you can plant a sapling next to a flower and bone meal it, and there's a chance it'll make a hive, and they give us an opportunity to chop down a bunch of trees and get a bunch of wood as well. That just seemed less interesting to me. But also, you know, doing a plan with very small chances of success is also not interesting. There's always that, that like, balance threshold, right, of, like, what's fun versus what's efficient, and how can I do both? And just like planting a tree, hoping it has a hive, chopping and moving over and over. Didn't sound particularly interesting. Wildcat. Hello, Ocelot. I spotted you from the sky. I can seriously find rare cats easier than I can find bees? Come on, man. Pardon me. I like that. There's this weird little loading thing right now where you can sometimes see an animal before the actual terrain loads in. Makes it easier to spot our bee friends. Pardon me. See? Alright. Potentially you found more bees. <clears throat> well, I mean, we found more bees. Oh, we found another hive! If this is the same hive again. Alright, it's not. Good, 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 good. Alright, two hives found. Excellent. I'm glad my squeaks are bringing everyone so much joy today. So that's our second hive. That feels pretty good. Let's see if we can't do three today. So it's like the first thing I try and spot are the bees. And then I try and locate the hive through trial and error. Okay, that's, uh, that's a sheep. It's not a bee. There's a bee, but you're in the jungle. And I don't believe hives can spawn in the jungle, which means 
There could be a hive just on the outskirts here. Like right here! Yo! All right, all right, all right, good. Okay, we found three. Now, what are the chances that I can actually find all these hives again once the sun sets? Maybe we can find a fourth. Let's get greedy. Hello, jungle tree. Yeah, meow. This was an Enderman. You give it a 30% chance, a 0% chance. Wow, rude. All right, the sun is setting. All right, bees, please return to your home. Actually, we'll, we'll watch and see how many bees go here. Okay. One. Good. Two. Two's good enough. All right, let's take all these back. Who knows? It could have been three. And it always has. It always has two tags. One B. Ah ah ah. Two B. Good video game. <laughs> all right. So it should be a lot easier to spot these at night because we torched up the area. See? Can spot it a mile away, chat. That's a chicken. That has nothing to do with a bee. Now hold on a second here. Hello? Ooh, a slime. Hello? Yes, okay, there's bees in there. Turn off the music, get really close, listen for the gentle buzzing of the bee. That's how you know someone's home. Okay. Yo, what's up, Amelie? Thank you for 50 bits. Are you getting the buzz? Yo, dog. I get such a buzz looking for these bees. Ah, I don't know about that. Alright. And then finally... Shh. Alright, there's bees here as well. So, five hives. That's most of the way to eight. Good, good English, Surge. Wait, there's another torch. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to pull out a couple more rockets here. What we want to do is we want to see if we can find any stray bees sort of just out and about to confirm whether or not there are three bees in our hives or not. Hey, a witch hut! Well, that's exciting. Hello, little friend. Ooh, a little slime friend. But I don't need slimes anymore because of the generosity of Joe Kim. Hello, bees? Hello? Alright, we found this random jungle cat again. Hope we can make a sugar farm. Yeah, which farm is still... Wait, are these... I guess these are some of the old endermen that can still pick up. Oh, right, we're... Wow. We've accidentally found ourselves at the mine o'clock base. This is terrifying. I'm out. I give up. Yeah, alright. We got some flowers here, apparently. I'm gonna need some of these, so let's grab a handful. Oh, 
Oh, right. I was like, why so much nether wart, James? And then I remembered that... Uh, crap. Let's just get out of here quickly. Ha! Huh. Woo! Why was that tree on fire? Uh, lava can set nearby vegetation on fire. You could have one of each flower. I certainly could. I certainly could. No, let's just get out of here. I can... Who just hit me? Oh, that skeleton did. Rude. Don't forget the flowers for the farm, too. Yep, I plan on just growing more flowers. Oh, I'm not wearing gold booties. Let's just, uh, we gotta go fast here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about flowers. Flowers are easy. Whee! This is the wrong way. So, random surge fact. I've been very lucky. I've only ever been stung by one bee. Or wasp, or hornet, or even um, horsefly. My entire life. I mean, mosquitoes love me and I've been eaten alive by mosquitoes. But when it comes to actual stings, very few in my life. Uh, and as a result, I don't even know if I'm allergic or not. Yeah, when I was a kid, when I was probably like four or five, I sat on a bumblebee. And it stung me right in the butt. That's it. It's the only time I've ever been stung. So, should I be trying with birch trees? Oh, I don't have any birch saplings. That's awkward. Uh, oak it is. Oak it is. All that time in a birch forest. Right. So... <sighs> Give me a second here. Oh my god. Does the mushroom biome not make flowers? Of course the mushroom biome doesn't make flowers, Serge. You absolute melon. You... I... I was like, flowers are easy, derp. Oh my god. Why would I need to bring flowers when I live in a biome and I can just plant them? I can just generate them whenever I want. Alright. You win this round, chat. I was a fool. Whatever. We got enough to get this started. I just don't have enough to get the breeding started. Oh, right. I can just put some grass out in the ocean. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's smart. There's a workaround that doesn't involve me having to fly away. Very clever. Do I need a flower farm? No, we don't need that yak. I just need to make like a little grass island out in the ocean. Wrong button. I took a screenshot. Are you the sea? So you can tell the different which biome we're in based on the color of the grass. All right, what kind of oh, what kind of flowers does the ocean have? Hold on, does ocean not have flowers either? Okay, thank God, I get at least red flowers. Oh, I get the basic red and yellow. Okay, 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 good. Alright, we're getting ourselves flowers for days here. Put on some music to smash flowers too. Get out of here, seeds. Alright, we've got like 20. That's enough for now.
All right, let's do our best. Okay, no beehive that time. No beehive that time. I, <laughs> but the trees are getting increasingly tall. I wonder if there's any correlation between that. Now, I'm getting conflicting messages from people. Will I not get bees in this specific biome either? Or, because chat's giving me two different answers here. It made it sound like anywhere I plant a tree, if there's a flower next to it, there's a chance. Birch trees are more likely. Bone meal the flower to get more flowers. I can't bone meal on the flower does nothing. Oak and birch trees grown from saplings that are within two blocks of a flower have a 5% chance to get bees. It's any biome? Okay, thank you. So we're going to need two different growing areas here as we wait for the leaves to decay. So let's try that again. Actually, I think I want to space them out a little bit further too. All right, let's try this again. All right, no beehive. So that's a one in 20 chance, eh? All right, well, currently we're one in six. So a reminder that our goal, oh, you know what else I should do, actually? I should grow uh, a couple more trees just over here for the three beehives that we have. Because we want to make sure that we get... It's going to be really funny if we get uh, beehives on these ones. You're too stubby. You know what? No, we can get a, we can get a better tree. But what I want to do on these... Wait, why were there no bees in that hive? I'm really confused now. What happened to that hive that no bee came out? What's up, Blender? Surge is tree shaming again? I mean, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I don't even need leaves on these trees. What am I doing? I could just do this. I'm worried. I definitely listened for bees before I grabbed those hives. So I think I'm worried that these hives are broken. Like, we listened for bees, but no bees came out of that. Maybe they're too close? Somebody just said earlier it doesn't seem to do anything. But they shouldn't be empty! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Yeah, there's, there's bee noises. See? They're not empty! That bee just came out of there. No, 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 and a bee just came out of that one. <laughs> Maybe they're empty. All right, all right. Maybe they're empty. Ah. <sighs> they're just shy. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, so this one has two. This one has one. This one has one. Alright, let's try and get some more hives for now. Yeah, getting trolled by bees, chat. Alright, where was I? Alright, we're now... 3, 6, 11. We're 0 for 11 on our 5% B roll. Plus side, we are getting Oak Ridge. I should just grab the hoe and just start smashing all of this. Oh, you have fortune? God, we're gonna get so many saplings. And apples? Oh, we're gonna be so apple rich. Maybe we can... Maybe we can, uh... Tempt Joe Kim with some apple stonks. No netherite hoe? Not yet, no. I still I still can't bring myself to put netherite in it. Alright, some people would say maybe maybe put the uh, the tree back one. I don't know if that changes anything, but we'll find out. I don't seem to need these campfires for anything yet. Okay. 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 <sighs> Alright, we struck out again. 5% chance, eh? All right. Well, while I do this monotonous task, we should somebody should pick a topic, a topic for conversation. Do like a podcast AMA or something like that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Bees in the Morning with Surge. Today's topic: Why won't the bees spawn? <laughs> Is the five percent based on the tree shape? Probably not. I imagine. Because that'd be much smaller than 5%, right? How did I get into game streaming? Or how does a general person get into game streaming? Actually, speaking of some interesting stuff like that, um, it should be coming out this week, actually. I, I was invited onto uh, Shivam Bot's podcast on just, like, casual magic and hanging out, which was great. You just want to hear two people who are just, like, really excited about life and everything. Just sit down and talk about life and everything for an hour. And uh, I got a podcast for y'all. I'll, I'll blast it on Twitter once it gets there. But it should be a lot of fun. I don't know how I got into this. I kind of fell backwards. And actually, we talk about it in the podcast as well. But I kind of fell backwards into content creation. Uh, I, I've i never really thought of myself as a performer. So, you know, there's people who like, oh, yeah, I was in theater and I want to do stage stuff and... I like video games, so I thought that'd be interesting. That, that was not my path. I just ended up being friends with people who were really talented. I wonder if I should put little blocks on top of these so they don't grow mega tall like that one. Wait! Yes! Success! Alright, we have our first beehive chat! Uh, we have two that are full, we have three that are not full, and we have one new one. Excellent. I, I played, yeah, I was in band, but like, I don't know. I, 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 I think of music as a very different thing. Like, being in a large band is different because you're not often the centerpiece in a large band. You're like very much a member of a team doing something. But yeah. <clears throat> 
Hives should spawn with bees. The issue is it's nighttime, so we don't know how many bees are there. Did you know you can breed bees and build them hives? Yes, I am aware of that. Yeah, trust me. An hour into the stream about bees, I've been told all the bee facts. But thank you. Yeah. Alright. I should definitely try and prevent these mega trees from growing because they take a while to get out of the way. <clears throat> I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could just try and make an artificial nest. Is there any difference between an organic nest and an artificial nest? Apparently, you can just shear a nest and then that'll work if you breed bees. There's literally no difference. Okay. So I just need to shear it. Is that right? Oh, that was a mistake. Hey, there's three bees. Um, will they ever be chill? Or do they hate me forever? Okay, no, no, they chilled out. They chilled out. Here, Here's some smoke. Okay, okay. Two. Well, now that we know that that one has three in it, uh, we'll put that in our finished bee box. So I sheared that, and I didn't get anything out of it. Oh, I got honeycomb. And I guess you craft beehives out of honeycomb? Ooh. What? That doesn't look at all like a beehive. No, no, no. <clears throat> that looks super lame compared to this one. No, that's totally lame. Nope. No, no, no. We need, we need organic beehives. You know what I think about this? Into the sea. No, we want bees. As God intended. What? What are you even saying, Serge? Uh, a good way to see how many bees are in a hive is to piss it off. I've learned... Yeah, I'm a bee snob. It's fine. Yes, Chris? I, I deliberately was trying to aggravate them. How else do I see how many bees are in there if they don't come out angry? Ah. <sighs> You have to poke the hive, otherwise you'll never know. Can you truly know how many bees are in a hive if you don't poke the hive? Scientists say no. Alright, so our first side to yield a hive was the one gap side. How many bees are required? We need eight hives with three bees each. So we need 24 bees across eight hives. There are no bees in that bee box. It was just an empty box. No animals were harmed in this. This is literally just an empty thing of wood floating in the sea. Oh, all right. Wait a second. They all came out. So two, two, two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to breed some bees. Oh my God. I love this so much. Baby bees. 
Oh my god, look! Oh wait, there's an extra B. Uh... Hello? Oh, I love you so much. Ooh. So the other thing we have to do is we have to wait for all of the bees to grow up. Uh, we can't have baby bees. Baby bees can fly out of the farm, which is bad. Baby bees, chat. Or BBs for short. B miners? Okay, that's really funny. I don't know if I did a fantastic job of answering the question of how I got into content creation. It's sort of a longer answer. Next topic, I guess? I don't know. What you want to keep talking about? Do they like jazz? What kind of music do you think bees like listening to? I'm just going to get... If I, if I ask that question, I'm just going to get puns. Go get your box back? Why would I do that? When I can grow 100% organic, free-range bees... B metal? R&B? Okay. R&B got me good. It's the worst way to make coffee. Honestly, when it comes to coffee, let people enjoy what they enjoy. I can share ways to make good coffee. I'm not going to shame people if they like drinking their coffee a certain way. Alright, so we need to keep, keep score here. So we need two more hives. These three are full. Uh, we have to wait for these to grow up. I don't know where my bees went, but that's fine. Are we naming all 24 bees? No. No, the bees are going to be going into a farm where we don't interact with them. That's not a good idea to do that. Zomba is also a very good answer. Okay. I, ooh. I don't know where my bees went, but that's fine. Yeah. Look, sometimes, you know, just, bees are just going to do their own thing, right? They're like children. They need to be given a certain amount of freedom and responsibility. According to Google, bees enjoy bebop. Oh, my God. You're here for bee facts? Uh, what other good bee facts do we have? I don't know. My brain isn't feeling very improv y today. They'll behave. Boo! Boo! Alright, just get all these leaves out of the way here. Ooh, bees communicate by dancing? Oh, I love that. I don't even know if- I don't even care if that's real or not. I'm gonna memorize that fact forever and just tell people at parties when parties happen again. Did you know, and I don't believe this, that bees communicate by dancing? <laughs> I don't know why, why I made that laugh sound. That's not how I talk to people. Oh, hello, BB. Came here for the Minecraft, stay for the bee puns. Do you know that a, a bee's favorite anime is Cowboy Bebop? Boo! Wait, bees legitimately communicate via dancing? Oh, I love it. Huh. <clears throat> uh, yeet? Uh, yeet. I have so many saplings. I'll turn it into more be bone meal. I've, de I have demonstrated a loop. Soprano cat with 50 biddies. Bees aren't picky about music. They like anything with a beat. <sighs> anything with a beat. I think there was a real window into Younger Surge pickup style. You know, bees communicate through dance.
Also a very real B fact, Dumbledore is a synonym of Bumblebee. Pardon me. Please stop. All right, well, I'm not going to be shearing these beehives anymore now that I've learned that they make a, an inferior product. I've lost count of how many trees we have. We've planted. So far, we've only gotten one hive. Ah, and team one gap is winning. We'll figure out the final stats because we need two more. Honeycomb blocks are premium. Uh, are they though? Premium for what though? Who wants honeycomb? What does honeycomb even get you in this game? Like, honey blocks are a uh, high value block for like redstone and stuff. What does honeycomb even do? Is this faster than wandering around in the forest? That's a very good question, Chris. Scientists say... Well, technically this is a little bit faster because at the same time I am also breeding bees. And that's getting us more bees. And that's important. And we get to listen to the really good crunch and we get more wood. So there, there are some pros to this method. Less risk of dying in this method. You know, I'm not gonna... No worry about creepers here. And our baby bees! We get to look at these adorable baby bees! Look at them! Hello? They're, they're touching faces! Baby bees! Baby bees! Um, yeah. And Jenny Naysayers, I raise you with bee 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 bees. <laughs> oh! All right. So team no gap and team one gap are nigh t nigh are now tied one and one. We just need one more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excuse me. Yeah, like bees. Bees apparently don't care if you just like walk up and hit their nest with a hammer. Uh, this is this is another interesting bee fact that I've just learned. A lot of people are like, you got to be careful. And I'm just like, no. Yeah, they only seem to get angry at you if you shear it. I haven't actually tried... Um, um, you don't milk a hive, Surge. How do you get... What? Somebody help me. What is the word you use to describe removing the liquid from a hive? <laughs> Harvest? I don't know! Bottle? Extract, harvest, okay, so there's not like a word. Tap, drain. IRL they use a centrifuge? Yes, but you don't act you don't use the word you centrifuge a hive. Harvest or tap. Really? I think of tap in terms of like um maple syrup, right? In that you like you you knock a hole into it and then you drain it. I mean I guess that's literally what we're doing. All right, chat. Curious to see which method is going to yield the hive first. And we will, as a scientist, 
prove once and for all which side is more efficient. One gap or no gap. This is conclusive evidence. First to three. Some hives actually do have taps. I'm learning an awful lot about bees today. I'm cheering for this side. Serge, as a scientist, you shouldn't be biased. Shh. Another swing and a miss. Harvest is more accurate. Interesting. What's the bee farm for? Honey. Specifically honey blocks. So honey blocks are a new redstone component that was added, which is very neat. I don't know how they work. I haven't played around with them at all. But one of the farm designs... Uh, pardon me, not one of the farm designs. The gold farm that I would like to build requires 11 honey blocks. So we're going to make a bee farm. There's honey in the game now. It's added in 1.15. Kevin the Shark cheered 50 bits. There's a beekeeper in the UK who records the sound of bees and analyzes the frequency of honey via electrodes, then uses it in synth music. This isn't a joke. It's actually a for real thing. Huh. Fascinating. Probably better as a scientist to be able to accept your results contrary to your biases than ignore your biases. I guess that's true. I can have a bias and then still accept if I'm wrong. As opposed to just keep doing science until it it gives me the result that I want. Alright. Alright, well team one side, hold on, let's see, let's see what happens. I just got a result I didn't want. And the winner is Team One Gap. All right. We've done it. We have scienced. Uh, I don't have a straight line long enough for where I want to plant this other one. Okay, next order of business is to somehow ensure that we have enough bees. And I have no idea how to do that. Okay, let's get rid of all these leaves. These leaves are coming between us and our precious bee idiot children. I'm on a mushroom island! We put a torch on that platform! Oh my god, if it blew up my hives... No, 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 I totally, I 100% torched up that island. Oh my god, if it blew up that beehive? Oh, I hope there are no bee casualties. After all of that work? <sighs> that really startled me because I wasn't expecting it at all. Where did that spawn? No! No! We lost one hive. One, two, th where's my pickaxe? All right, there it is. Okay, looks like we have everything here. Where did that creeper even come from?
Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we lost a bee farm chat. We lost one of our hives. And it was one of the hives full of baby bees. No, the babies. Think of the babies. Oh, there's actually supposed to be one taller. Ah, chat. Can't believe we have to get another bee. No, we need another hive. I'm going to breed more bees, but we need another hive. All right. I'm checking my, my shoreline here. We're looking for ocean biome. Where did that spawn? Because it must have spawned pretty... Oh, that's... They're my carrots. It must have spawned pretty close to me, right? So anything that says mushroom field, regardless of the block type, makes you safe. The issue is... Alright, I mean, let's check the obvious spot, which is here. The top of a mushroom? If it's Again, if it's in the mushroom biome, we're safe. So here's the ocean, and it has... The other thing you need to look at is the light level. This has a light level of fifth, of 10, which means it didn't spawn on this island. Screw you, drowned. Get out of here. Do you think the mushroom might extend over the edge? Okay, this mushroom is safe. Uh, you can't spawn on leaf blocks. Okay, it's not this mushroom either. Where did where did this creeper come from? Where? What? Alright, hold on. Let's keep checking the shore here. We started on this side. There! Wait, there's torches here. So here's an ocean area. But it's literally torched. Well, now it's water. Okay, so that side should be safe. What? So this is ocean, but that's a half slab, so nothing can spawn there either. Ah, uh, okay. Ocean there. But, like, it didn't come across the, from the other side of the moat. Maybe it swam from where? I'm so confused. Life uh, finds a way, I guess. Do you think it could have... Oh my god, that's so many bees. Do you think it could have possibly come up from this water stream and like spawned down below in our base? Check the jungle tree. Like, you think maybe it spawned on top of the jungle tree and then fell down? You, it can't spawn on leaves, though. So the top of these trees are also safe because there's nowhere for them to spawn. Like, this honestly doesn't make sense. Alright. Um, I need to pee. I'm going to leave you with this view. And maybe you'll see... I don't know. We'll come up with a theory. I'll be right back.
What a bizarre... Bizarre thing to have happened. So, let's talk about how mobs spawn. Mobs can spawn outside of 24 blocks from you, but within about 100. And we were constantly running around in this area, which means it's highly unlikely that it actually spawned around here, because that's probably too close. Which means it probably spawned out here, and when we started running back and forth, it got aggroed and ran towards us. Chat suspicious of Cat Island? I don't think it would have swam, though. So once again, we're looking here. If this says ocean, then something can spawn. If it says mushroom, then we're safe. Oh, all right. So Joe, Joe found a spot where it said ocean and torched it. So she already put down torches here. The other thing we look at is we look at the light level of the block. And if it's seven or less, then you have to worry about it. This is a very cute little area. You just look at the light level and you're totally safe. So yeah, like, we've done... We, oh, oh no, oh my goodness, I've almost passed, pushed a cat into the sea. Uh, go back, go back to your perch, cat. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm very sorry, cats. Joe would be very upset with me if I pushed a cat into the sea. So we've done a lap around Cat Island. Cat Island is safe. Friends of cats only! I, I'm, I'm doing my best to be a friend of cats. Also... Yeah, creepers are afraid of cats. So let's just do a little little more perimeter hunting here. What a mystery. Unless it's spawned on the island. There's no way for it to spawn on the island. The only spot where it was a legible, legible, a legal spawning spot was uh, torched. I'm really, really confused, friends. Maybe it's a bug? It's probably not a bug. It's definitely a me problem. Not a Minecraft problem. Ah, quality content, eh, friends? Oh, well. Oh! That's Mushroom Field. Which means the shore actually extends further out into the sea than we're even at there. This is all super safe! Could there be like a weird spot in the middle of the island that's just like... Not mushroom? I don't understand. Does the mushroom on that island overhang? They won't... Yeah, but like... I don't think that's it. I don't think a creeper spawned here and then swam all the way? Alright, so technically this mushroom is over the island. And it's dark enough. So this is actually a legal spawning position. I think it would have just stayed on top of here. I agree with Tide Hollow Cat. And the creeper could have run from the cats. All right. Well, this is our leading. This is our only leading legal theory right now. I mean, let's check the top of the other mushrooms. This one's safe. That one's can entirely within the uh, the perimeter of the island. And this one's way too far. Anything that spawned up here would fall. So, <clears throat> all right. Well, I guess back to the B grind, eh, my friends? Ah. <sighs> back to the B grind. At least we're getting wood rich.
Maybe there's a chance for Team uh, right up against the flower to catch up on the lead of, like, Hive Generation. Back to B6. You got it. You got it. That was so startling. My heart. You're just sitting there minding your own business and suddenly a creeper just comes up and explodes you. You're just like, Minecraft, please. Why are you like this sometimes? I'm supposed to be safe. I believe myself to be safe. You thought you could escape us. I need more bones. All right. So this is team one gap. Mind your own bees knees. Oh my god. Right, of course the bee puns are going to continue again, aren't they? I thought I was free of you. All right. Ooh, that's a tall one. How much money for a lock of my hair? That's a really weird question. That's a really powerfully weird question. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Do you not know what boundaries are? My goodness. <sighs> ah, welcome to the internet, friends. Oh, Kevin, I see what it is. Kevin the Shark apparently has started a new delivery surface uh, where they hide creepers in the ocean. That's awfully nice of you. Oh, hold on a second here. Apparently, Raiden... Raiden took a photo... Oh! There's the head of the creeper. What? Thank you for that, my friend. Under that tree? That doesn't even make any sense. Hold on, we'll go investigate in a second here. I have to chop down this tree first and let the leaf decay start. Um. Summertime is the season for people with really loud cars to drive around and be really loud. Yeah, I think there's some shenanigans at play here. Alright, well, it's about to be nighttime again. You saw the creeper face over here. The creeper was over here. Is there like one block somewhere around here that's just like broken? We check this. This is all mushroom biome. It doesn't make any sense. Just this doesn't make any sense. Even that photo doesn't make sense. Check around the spruce tree. Yeah, I just did the full circle there. All right, well, let's keep going. We'll keep our eyes peeled for any more mobs. Now that I know that they're around. Leaves are not spawnable blocks, remember. <laughs> but why leaves, Serge? Why did you use leaves for your nether farm? Yeah. Alright, I, I need to empty out some of these from my inventory here. I 
I mean, if people want to check out the biome seed, you're welcome to. There could be a weird, like, middle block somewhere, but I don't think a biome seed is going to get down to a block-by-block -block label. But that's an interesting call theoretical. There could be a really weird... I've already checked all the mushrooms overhanging the seed as well. I've already done, like, a perimeter on the exterior, and we looked at stuff there. Like, maybe there's this really weird chance that there's, like, a block in the middle of this that incorrectly generated or something like that? I don't know. It's a big old mystery, right, friends? There's a bug at one point where leaves are spawnable if you're running fast enough and they fix that? Interesting. Can you put leaves in a composter? Oh, cool. I just learned that. That's new. Creepers spawn in the water? No, mobs can't spawn in water unless they're drowned. But drowned are their own awful things. All right, let's just take a look again. Anybody see a creeper anywhere? And we'll try and like... Because you have to move around a little bit to be in that, that range. Hold on, I have an idea. We can open the hitbox if we're looking for mobs. Oh, oh wow. That is useful. I gotta use that for bees. It's a great idea. It's a beard. All right, so we see all the fish in the water. Who is that? Hold on! What? There's a creeper. There's a creeper right there. No, 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 no. What? I'm checking every single block here. This doesn't make any... Hold on. No, 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 no. Look at this. Mushroom field. Mushroom field. Mushroom field. Mush... Ocean! This block right here. But also look at this. When I look at the half block. So this is mushroom field. This is mushroom field. But if I look in between the half, that's an ocean now. But the 3D biomes haven't been implemented here yet. How can this be ocean? But it only exists if it's up a block. What? So hold on, hold on, hold on. So mushroom field, ocean. I would like to report a bug. If I jump, it's ocean. If I don't, it's not. 
Well, uh, apparently we have to leave a torch here forever. Well, no wonder I couldn't find it, chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I have to jump everywhere I go here? That's so weird. That's so weird! Huh. Neat. Well, I'm glad we figured that out, friends. Huh. Huh. What a good mystery. No wonder I couldn't find that, eh? Because, like, how are you supposed to find that under normal circumstances? L using the knowledge that we have of Minecraft, you're like, okay, this is safe, this is not safe. And then all of a sudden you're like, how could a mob possibly spawn there? EZ, PZ, hardly, but yeah. Drama, mystery, intrigued. And then Kevin the shark kicks in the door and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you pesky kids and your bees. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of bees. Bees. <laughs> I don't know why you just shout it, but you do. All right. I want to see team no gap catch up here. Also, shout out to Beard with the um, the tip for the F3 plus B to see the hitboxes so we could spot that creeper better. There's another spot to check. Uh, that is the exact same spot for the reverse angle. Raiden. Yeah, that that that's actually just the same. That's this exact same spot. We have torched it. Okay. Bees! Oh, did our baby bees grow up? Oh, we have so many. Now, hold on a second here. I, When the sun starts to set, uh, we need to take a look at which hives have three bees. And we could put those ones away. So let's wait for dusk. And this time, dusk will be bee business, not creeper business. Did I lose a hive? I did. When a creeper blew me up, it destroyed one of the hives. Part of me, bees. How do you get honey blocks? So you harvest, not milk, you don't milk hives. You harvest honey in glass jars, and then you take nine of the glass jars of honey and combine them into a, a honey block. Wait, no, no, sorry. This is team one gap. Oh, it's only four bottles. It's not even nine. Well, it's much cheaper. <coughs> Pardon me. Ow. Ooh! All right. Well, there we have it, chat. Of the four hives we needed to grow, there seems to be no difference between team one gap and team no gap. Two and two. They're exactly the same. All right. Plant more flowers? Why? I want one more pretty orange tulip. If I wanted all the flowers in my farm to be the same. I need eight flowers. Maybe I could do four and four? Four, two, and two? Sure. There we go. Four, two, and two for the farm. 
I, I'm, I'm not here for honey. We're not here for honey. What we're here for is the hives, and we're going to make an entire farm for honey later. Yeah, we're going to be making ourselves a redstone automated honey farm. That's the end goal of all of this. I have a plan, chat. I have a plan. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, we have so many apples. Why do we have so many beetroot seeds? Whatever, I'll leave them. All right, apparently, a, oh, luxury. A phantom membrane. I forgot about that. All this talk about honey is making you hungry. I'm so hungry right now. I can smell Joe cooking in the next room. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to wait to be to... Oh, look at that bee. See? They dance to communicate. You are so right, chat. Look at it go. That bee knows how to party. I think that bee is broken. I'm going to try and save it from itself. Hello, B. All right, there you go. You're saved now. But if the bees are already in their hive, how will I know how many are in that hive? Is there some sort of form, like, of meta metadata or something you can look at at a hive and it'll tell you what's in it? Like... Targeted block, honey level five, facing south, B underscore nest. Minecraft empty? Targeted fluid? Like, is there any info in here that tells you how many bees are in a nest? Which is not great though, because I'm pretty sure we saw Here's another question I have for the attributes. Do bees always go back to the same hive? Hey, what's up, Thermos? Friends, we've got tw another diamond bean. 24 months. Does it have tag information if you pick it up? So, looking at these, it always says two tags, but I know these hives have three bees in them. Thank you for a year, uh, two years of support, friend. I really appreciate it. Can't wait for your diamond bean. Thank you, Saltai Brandon. Appreciate that. They're doing another little wiggle dance. Yeah, because I need to breed bees until we have three for each hive. I just wish there was an easier way to figure it out. Your guess is that 2NBT tag means there's two variables being tracked? Interesting. You should be able to look at the tags in detail by playing having F3 plus H. I have F3 plus H. Like, that's how I see durability underneath that, right? So, like, if I have this in my inventory and I hover over it. Like, those tooltips are hidden. So, yeah... That's actually what that information does, silly dog. By having the advanced tooltips up shows that there's two tags, but I don't actually know what that means, unfortunately. We get no info. I have a very specific requirement for a hive, yet no way to figure that out. I mean, I guess I could just space these hives out way more. Oh, I guess now that they've added... We already have a three-year bean. I showed what that one is. It's emerald. You can use leads on bees. The issue I have is I don't know if bees go to a specific hive every time. Maybe, maybe, and this is the weird thing, maybe I just breed a ton of bees. You think bees pick a hive as their home? That's what I hope, right? 
Yeah, I think that's the thing. Just overbreed bees until they can't go in their home. Wait till nighttime. If we name them, name them by a series of, of number combinations. One, one, two, two. All right. Well, yeah, we're just going to become the bee master here. We're going to overbreed. All right, so there's two more bees. Do I have other bees that haven't bred yet? Kind of looks like they have little pants on, eh? F3 plus B. Are you wondering if we could see the number of bees? Like, the beehive doesn't have a hitbox, so you can't see the number of bees inside of there either. Interesting how much info is, is hidden. All right, so we're going to overbreed because you have to, apparently every time I say any word that has EE -E in it, I have to really emphasize that gap uh, and then wait for them all to become adults. Apparently there's a, a bee breeding, there's an apiary data pack if you really want to get into it. Love it. I feel like I'm learning so much about bees today. You ride through the wiki. Seems like the only time you can see how many bees there are is when they enter or leave. And I haven't been able to give in... <clears throat> Nobody's given me a consistent answer to say of if a bee 100% confirms a beehive as their forever home. You know what I mean? Okay, you've already bred. Arrange the trees into a reference of Stonehenge, please, and thank you. What does Stonehenge have to do with bees? <clears throat> Uh, all right, let's let's clean up some gunk here. This is murder bay, not pollution bay. Thank you. Right? Oh, murder lagoon. Oh, that's awkward. So I am also going to have to craft. I think it's like two hundred and fifty-six glass bottles. They said they loaded I loaded the seed, and the problem was actually a small non-mushroom spot originally. At negative 571, negative 1039. Here? Biome Ocean. Well, would you look at this? Would you look at this? We're standing at the exact same spot. And in the seed where they are, it says it's ocean. So check out the coordinates. 571, negative 139. Except they're four blocks higher? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, because you're floating. Yeah, I, I think this is a weird thing where the biome actually changes depending on your Y height, which doesn't make any sense. Because I'm standing at the exact same coordinates, and for me, it says it's Mushroom Field Shore. Bees track a hive they came out of, so they'll return to the hive. Um, I'm going to just skip time here so I can over overbreed bees for just like a couple more days here. Why not automate the composter? Because I, I don't care. I don't, I don't plan to compost enough. To ever need to put in a hopper or anything like that. I don't often do a lot of this work.
Like, I could literally just throw the seeds into the sea. Alright, so that should make us an abundance of bees. How many bees do we see here? Do we see more bees than we have hives? We need 15 bees in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus the babies. Alright, we have somewhere between 16 and 17 bees now. Yeah, I also have a boat. Did Chad already report that bug to Moyang? I don't know if they have. Yeah, I'm mostly just composting because I was killing time. But we have a different, more efficient farm for bone. Okay. Let's start putting stuff a little bit away here while we wait. Yeah, now we just have to wait for time to pass for our little baby bees to grow up. They grow up so fast, single tier. Oh, I do have a bunch of extra scaffolding. It's just sitting in this box, weird. How would I ever know to find it in the wood box? It's a mystery. One of life's greatest mysteries, eh, chat? I should put that in my redstone box. Where does clay go? Do I have a clay box? Uh, banger alert. Yeah, I can't wait to make like a bigger and better storage system eventually when we when we make our when we move out of our starter base and move into our forever base. If you feed the babies, they grow faster? Really? Do they now? Let's give that a try. Wait, that happens for most mobs, doesn't it? I still don't know where clay goes. That kind of looks like a dollar sign. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, is that more? What the? Oh, Joe reorganized stuff. Wait, why do we have three cobble bo bo boxes? Huh? That ain't right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new segment, Organizing Your Inventory, your storage system with Surge. I'm your host, Surge. Yeah, I don't need two boxes for these. That's what shulker boxes are for. Perfect use of the time while you wait for things to sort themselves out, Surge. Thanks, Surge. So my plan for this, especially as it doesn't scale terribly well, or as our current system doesn't scale terribly well, is just to like have overflow and shulker boxes, of which we have a fair amount. Which I actually think is a, a pretty clean system, because then when you need anything, you just grab just like a tremendous amount, right? And then you just have like a little bit on top. this full box full box half box extra and then I guess uh, clay can live here good job clay you can have a whole box to yourself even though there's nothing to go into it See? Look at that. What a perfect little home now. What's the hotkey for moving everything the same type? You need something in your hand, hold down shift, and then double click really quickly. It's not really a hotkey. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But once you get the hang of it, you go pretty quick. 
How exactly do you get shulker boxes? You need to go to the end, which in, happens where you kill the dragon and after the dragon. Then you explore and you'll find cities. And then you'll find these awful mobs that make a noise that goes bleh. Get swole. Wait, are you already swole? Not yet. I'm feeding these bees and they're not growing very quickly. I like that they very obediently just kind of like sit down on the floor next to me if I don't move. I'm out of flowers. Obediently. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Ah, all right. I, th I suppose the other thing we can do as we wait for this. There's a couple things. One, I think I need more glass. How much does it cost to make a glass bottle? It costs three glass for three. So 256 means I need 256 pieces of glass, which is six stacks. Is that how that math works? That's not too hard to do, especially as I have this extra box right here. Four stacks? That's even better. Look, I'm glad you're here to help me with the math chat. If you recall... No, it is four stacks. Wait, yes, okay. So let's turn all of that glass into, or all that sand in the glass, pardon me. And we'll turn all that glass into bottles. So that was sand. Uh, and then I actually wrote down all the ingredients we're going to need here. So we need eight beehives with three bees, which we'll be working on. 40 blocks to build it out of. And maybe we'll just do logs. Uh, dust, hoppers, yeah, this is this is a fairly straightforward farm here. How did it load that fast? It loaded into a hopper minecart, which is very zoomy. So let's grab a shulker box, and this should all fit in one shulker box. All right. And now you should be able to see my reference image there. Bees! All right. So let's get these ingredients down here. First thing I need is 40 blocks. Now, an interesting thing about bee farms is that they only function during the day because they sleep at night. So somewhere you can build them if you want them to be hyper efficient is either in the nether or in the end where there's no day night cycle. But I don't think we actually care about that because I think I just want it on our island so we can have it always be loaded. So you can make a farm that's just like loaded where you are all the time or you can make it in a spot where you plant AFK and that makes it more efficient. I think we're just going to have it here. That's fine. So if that's the case, we're going to want to build our farm out of blocks that match the build aesthetic. So maybe andesite? How do we how do we make this house? Brick? Andesite and brick? Oh, what if we made a little bee house extension for our house? What do you think about that? We want our precious idiot bee children to sleep? I can agree with that, yeah. Yeah, we could put it, like, here. The farm isn't that big. So, let me show the design we're doing here. Where's the, where's the front angle? So, this is sort of an end design of what it looks like. So, you have the beehives, a bunch of hoppers that will feed the glass bottles into it, some redstone. Yeah. And then a bunch of hoppers that come out. So, it's uh, 9 by, like, 5 by 5. It's not a very big farm. 
Oh, the far the house isn't even done yet, pointless man. We'll do some more work on it later today when we get our beef farm done. Oh, goodness. I got a bit of a sunburn, and my legs are all itchy, and I shouldn't be itching them, but such is the nature of having anything that itches, you just want to itch it. So, yeah, we could build it here, and I think that would actually look really cute. So, we're going to want to make it out of andesite and brick, then, I've decided. Andesite. Oh, we should buy some more brick. Hold on. While we're while we're here and while we wait, uh, I think the idea of also doing a little bit of uh, emerald gathering is not a bad idea. <laughs> so just picture in a picture, you can see how it looks in the end. Oh my goodness, bad joke. All right, you don't need to see that list as I uh, do farm stuff. See. And this is the benefit of having a farm just kind of passively loaded in the background. We're just like passively collecting melons as we chill. Delicious and nutritious passive melons. Part of a balanced diet. Hello, James the zombie. Wait, can I just buy glass bottles? No, we don't need to worry about that. What's the red patch near the bees? Oh, that was just a random area we're making to try and grow shroom lights and we decided to give up on that. Oh, you can see our, our string farm has been producing as well. You can buy glass blocks from the librarian. Yep. Oh, my, my jump failed. My jump failed again? How did that happen? What are all these books? Oh, Joe has been fishing. And apparently she's been pulling some interesting books out of the sea. Right. No, no, no. We we're doing this because I needed more bricks. Wow. I, how quickly I forgot. That's really embarrassing, actually. I was like, why am I doing this? Right. We need more bricks. That was that was the reason. Hold on. I should have this in my offhand so I can be repairing my... You buy smooth stone? Fascinating. The slime's losing its bounce. It's like Velcro. It's just like, as you use a lot, it gets less effective. I feel like I'm learning so much. All right, there we go. You've never seen an enchanted diamond hoe? Welcome to 1.16. I'm half tempted to enchant it with netherite. There we go. Uh, I was going to put this scaffolding away into my redstone box. Oh! Alright, good. We have an extra bee. We have a couple of extra bees, as was the goal. We just have to wait for them to grow up now. Excellent, 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 excellent. Once all the bees are adults, then we can continue with our life. Speaking of which, I think I'm done with the hose. So let's put that away.
Now, where were we? Right. 40 blocks, and those blocks are going to be andesite and brick, which we have up top. We require 32 hoppers. Uh, it's a good thing we have all this extra wood. We're going to turn all of that into chests. Out of curiosity, how many chests have I made? It feels like it's been a lot. Uh, crafted. 700 chests I've crafted so far. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing how quickly you can run out of chests in this game. And iron, apparently. Okay, I'm suddenly very iron poor. Okay, so we need 32 hoppers. Okay, 32 hoppers. We got our building blocks. We'll get some bricks into that as well. How many melons have we crafted? Probably not as many. Oh, never mind. I've crafted 2,800 melons. Ridiculous. Uh, I need eight dispensers. I think I made extras of those the other day. Nope. Oh. But dispensers are the ones that need a bow. I hate dispensers. Least favorite item to craft in the game. What else do you need for dispenser? You need cobble and redstone. Six. That's way too many. That's a dropper. I need dispensers. There we go. Right. This is the other part that sucks is they don't stack. So you have to go one at a time. There's a data pack with better recipes for them? Probably. Oh, take your good bow out? Yeah, I've never actually done the thing where I accidentally craft my bow into a dispenser, but I've heard that story. I uh, require eight dirt. Okay, let's grab that next. Excuse me. Eight dirt. Uh, we have flowers upstairs. We have flowers upstairs. Uh, eight comparators. Okay. Eight slabs. Probably want to use andesite slabs. Oops. Well, we have ten now. <laughs> As we always intended. Okay, eight slabs. Whatever, I'll put ten in the box. That's fine. Wait, how did I not put my 40 redstone dust in here? That goes after blocks. That goes before a lot of this stuff. Hold on. Building blocks, redstone dust, hoppers, dispensers, dirt, comparator, flowers. We have flowers upstairs. Slabs. We need three chests. And I'm putting these in the shulker box in the same order as the list up here so you can follow along. 32 temporary blocks. Uh, we'll grab netherite for that. Netherrack, whatever you are called. And then 256 glass bottles. All right, that should be everything we need. We should be able to make our farm now. Wait, it was... No, that's wrong. Four stacks. I'm one short? Oh, how dare you. We, get, we have two left over, I guess. Huh. Neat. Oh my god, it was off by one. I didn't even put that together. Ah, uh, it hurts.
All right. So that should be everything. So let's grab this box. Let's actually double check our list really quickly. So we have the we have beehives upstairs. Oh, we have to make sure they're adults though. All right, let's go up and uh, let's go up and take a look. Actually, we could probably even start building a lot of the farm without the bees. All right, do we see any baby bees anywhere? What is this shulker box? Right. The beehives. Let's leave those there. And do you like the idea of building the farm into the side of the house? I think it might be kind of cute. Anybody have any strong opinions on that? Sorry, another noisy motorcycle. Vroom, 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 vroom. Provided you have enough space, the farm's quite thin. Again, as we look at the preview here, the farm's only eight blocks thick. Now, if we take... How wide is eight? Well, let's find out. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could even make like a little barn extension off the side of it or something like that. Who needs a bee house when you could have a bee home? Ooh. So we could build it here. We'd probably want to put it into the ground and it is... How, how wide are you, dear farm? Trying to get a side angle, side profile here. I don't think it's that thick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six by eight and it's five tall. I mean, oh, maybe that won't look that good. Ah, uh, maybe it could. I mean, if we enclosed it, like we could, so that's the size of the farm. So if we made it maybe here instead, if we moved it in one. Like this is the footprint it would take and it's five high. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a pretty big box actually. We can make it a bee cellar. How do you decorate an apiary? You go to Bed Bath and Bee Ond. Boo! I say, I say boo. We could also just put it right here, right? We could build it, no. Maybe. We could put it in the ground, that's fair. Like, inset it a little bit. So, we do want easy access to the chest. And you can see the chest is on the lower level there. But I guess you could, you could walk down into it. It's currently wide, too wide. Hold on, I like one person who said it's too narrow and another person who says it's too wide. That's just a footprint, it's fine. The issue with having it just kind of in the middle, it's like just in the middle of the room. The middle of the island, if we put it there. I'd want to put it against the shore. And Snitko, thank you for that Twitch Prime in three months, friend. Appreciate it. Enjoy your new bean. If the outside is full of bees, is the interior of the house the escapiary? That's a very good joke. Yeah, I don't know if they need sky access. We could have indoor bees. Honestly, it's not that big. We could just have it out here. We could have it just like right here. I don't want it in the middle of nowhere, though. Because then it's hard to build around. And the other issue with this is I eventually want to put a structure for these, like, entrances and exits into the base. Build it underwater? No, I don't want to have to move water. That's so much work. All right. Uh... Yeah, I like where that house is located. We could build it behind the house. Uh, 
What if we built it on this platform? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is where the chest would go. I don't mind that. So this is the front of the farm. We have the mushroom behind it. Wait, sorry. This is the front of the farm. And then we'd access our double chest like here. That's not bad. I don't mind that. It's like a bee pedestal. I like that idea. Just like it's up on a hill, right? Yeah. I think that's a good spot. We can always terraform the hill a little bit more. Okay. Uh, let's grab our box. Let's get rid of this. Reminder, always use a different block with your scaffolding. Otherwise, you end up with a weird situation. Damn, I'm pretty sure at 101 bits. There lived a certain man in Jostotska long ago. He was big and strong. In his bees... A flaming glow. What? Most people looked at him to coffee and to splurge, but to mushroom creepers, he was such a lovely surge. He could mine the diamonds like a miner, always off by one and on fire, but he also needs a third monitor, one that James would desire. To the tune of Rara Rasputin, there lived a certain man in Joe Stutzka. Just don't go long ago. He was big and strong in his bees of flaming glow. Oh god, it is! <laughs> oh wow. Holy moly. Alright, uh, let's grab these materials and start making this farm. That's so funny. Thank you for the 101 bits, my friend. I'm going to be honest, I probably blew the majority of... Wait, no, I, that's my bee shulker box. I put that back. I think I blew most of the monitor fun on that air conditioner. But I, 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 I imagine a lot of you would be like, you know what, that was probably a good idea, Serge. You know, being comfortable. All right, let's start this tutorial. So once again, this is not, not my OC. Uh, this is from Shulkercraft. Really appreciate all the tutorials I've done. You've seen, you've probably seen me use a lot of their tutorials over and over. All right, I need the flowers. Hope you're having a great day too, friend. Thanks for stopping by. You hope I get really successful on Twitch? Now those are some kind words. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you make a lot of money. You're like, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I like the way you think. Here comes the drop. We're getting into the wub wub part of the, the playlist again, but you know, that's fine. All right, uh, let's get all these tools out of the way here. Start with a double chest. I'm actually gonna rotate this already. You go here instead. Let's maybe connect these. You go there instead. You need additional monitor funds, Harley. You think all of us want you to succeed? Well, thank you. All right, eight hoppers pointed into the chest. And then we put eight hoppers pointing down into those hoppers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if you like watching the farms that I build and you want to support the creator, definitely check out the Shulkercraft YouTube channel and give it a follow or a like or a subscribe or whatever you want to do. Go give them a thumbs up on their video. Go tell them you think they're a genius. Support, support the creators that you like. All right. So after we do all the hoppers, what's the next step? Find the hopper, make a row of temporary blocks. Okay. And then make a two wide platform out of the blocks we actually care about. Okay. So we want our andesite at that point. So 
soon as it hits nighttime, we're going to go knock down all those hives. Thank you for linking that. Appreciate it, friends. Okay, after that is done, what do we do? All right, we put a row of comparators onto that. And then behind the row of comparators, we do a row of redstone. And we do a two high wall right there. Okay. I'll do all that in just a second. I'm going to wait for the moon. All right, let's go grab those hives. Is it just me or does andesite look more like wool than wool does? Interesting. All right, now there should be extra bees, right? I... Why are you out there, idiot bees? Come back to your homes! Oh, God. They're... I didn't expect them to fly away. Hold on. Let me... Let me go harvest... Let me go gather these bees. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. No! They're so dumb! Why are the bees all out in the ocean here? All our hard work... Oh my god, they're so far away. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Are you drowning? No, B! Are you at least following me? Okay, I have to take them home one at a time here, apparently. You can leash bees? I might have to. Alright, yeah, we might have to go get out. Oh, I fell out of my boat. We might have to go get our lead. They're so dumb. Oh my god, they're so dumb. Ah, <sighs> well, luckily we have a lot of we have a lot of slime now. Okay, let's go make like a stack of leads, I guess. Let's put on some music to harvest bees too. I mean, I have a plan to deal with the bees in the long run. I just didn't expect them. I just didn't expect this. A lead is string and slime. Is that right? Precious idiot bees. I'm so upset right now. They're so dumb. They're so dumb. <sighs> the apiary I made I threw in the sea. It's better than it belongs. Fake no bee have an apiary. Not on my watch. Why would they fly out into the sea and die? No! We didn't kill that bee. We just managed to get here in time to watch it drown. I didn't murder that bee. How dare you? <sighs> They're so far from home. They're weighed down from all their stupid honey. No! Not like this bee. They call me the bee man. <laughs> all right, now... Go to your homes. Go, go to go to your homes. 
Are these all excess bees? It's nighttime. They should be sleeping, right? The homes are full? Can we all agree that we think the homes are all full? These are all bonus bees? Interesting. How did we end up with... How did we end up with so many extra bees? I thought I bred... Like, we did a count. We needed 15 bees. I thought I had 17. I was expecting there to be two, maybe three excess bees. Huh. Huh! There could have been bees inside of those at the time. I guess so. Apparently, yeah. All right. Well, we don't want these bees to get hurt. So let me grab a fence block and let me just leash them all somewhere, I guess. That seems kind of weird, but here we are. <clears throat> me, miscount? I don't believe that. How dare you? Lies and slander. Okay. You too? Uh, you two. And you two. I love it. Huh. All right, where were we? I mean, I'm just as shocked at you are the chance that I could have potentially miscounted there. I don't, I don't think that's on me. Nah, dog, that ain't me. All right, uh, so now we need to go back to building this farm. Uh, redstone and comparators, easy peasy. Alright, then we make that too high wall on this side. And let's keep going with this tutorial. And ignore all those endermen. We don't have to deal with those in our farm. Behind the redstone, add one high wall. Okay. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about Shulkercraft's tutorials... Is that, uh, wait, did I build this backwards? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If the glass is there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's that glass? Oh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. I wonder why you put glass there. I guess maybe to spawn proof it? Yeah, that's definitely the front there. That's so strange to me. I don't understand. Does, does anybody know why that needs to be glass? Wait, I also need glass? Where was glass in the material list? Huh, I need eight glass blocks for this. Glass is a unique redstone property in that it doesn't pass a wire signal down. Interesting. Huh. So you can see into it. I mean, I, I, it, it is very pretty. I guess there is the aesthetic there, right? Unique redstone connectivity. That's very cool. That's very cool. I thought we had all the materials we needed. But that's fine. Okay. So 
So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. So give me a second here. Then we build glass on top of the redstone. Then we fill that in and then we cover the entire top section in redstone. Yeah. Okay. That's the wrong button. I want to go here. So then we do glass on top of this. And then we do andesite here. Great. And then we cover all of this in redstone. Do we go down a step with redstone too? I have eight left. Yeah, I go down there as well. That makes a lot of sense with how redstone works. Yeah, interesting. So the redstone can actually go up and connect through this. Huh, that's so cool. That's very cool. Okay, put a bunch of dirt along the front there now. Got it. Okay, we want all of our dispensers to go down here. All right, I can't, I can't quite keep up. I was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good, but we want these to be dispensing down. Wrong way. Is it just me, or does the dispenser kind of look like the Pog emote of Redstone? Place a temporary block between the dispenser and the hoppers, okay? New Surge emote coming out. It's Surge Pog, but it's just a dispenser. <laughs> dispenser champ! See, I think that's really funny. And I'm pretty sure, okay, so I put those blocks down and then I put a bunch of slabs on top of that. Yeah. They're top slabs, right? Yeah. This is actually super cool. It's like if you put down the beehives here, um, the slab in the front actually prevents the bees from getting out, which is very, very, very neat. Provided they face forward. I think that's actually kind of cool. And the other thing that's very interesting is you could actually hear the redstone behind it clicking. So it's like, yeah, uh, oh, the comparators, of course, that's what's clicking. Isn't that neat? How cool is that? I guess based on how full they are, they have a different redstone signal. Or like a different redstone strength. Yeah, you can see the ones that are more full go further. That's so interesting. So I guess it wraps all the way around and it'll dispense a um, empty jug. I like that a lot. Do you have to trap the end sides? It doesn't look like it, Raiden, but we'll see. I think I can case the entire thing in glass pretty quick here, but we'll see. All right, let's keep watching the tutorial. Tutorial says, make a dome around the slabs. Okay. Okay. Wait, I needed so much glass. What? Weird. Okay, this tutorial needed a bunch of glass and I didn't write down any of that. Let me just grab a stack of glass so I don't make a mistake again. The worst is when you think you've prepared all the materials you need for a project. And then you show up and try and work on it. And you're like, oh, no, I forgot everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. 
Bees enter a beehive from any side, but will only ever exit out the front. So therefore, bee one-way gates can be made. Interesting. Why do I make the base underground? Um, the spider spawner. 100% just the spider spawner. All right. That's looking pretty good. Now place a hopper going into all the dispensers. Okay. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. I thought I had a bunch of... Did I just lose all of my blocks? Or did I put them away somewhere stupid? Ah. Surge. I need throwaway blocks to build with. Also, Surge puts all those blocks away. Blocks away, pardon me. So eventually what we're going to do is we're going to remove these slabs. And then we're going to put flowers down here. And the bees are going to come out of the hives to see the flowers and just go back and forth. So they're going to live sort of in this little contained area. And then we're going to feed... Um, we're going to feed, what's the word I'm looking for? Glass jars into the hoppers, into the dispensers, and that's going to get us free honey. Which is very exciting. A bee aquarium. And then we have a directional hopper that way. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like pretty classic design there. Do the bees need to be contained or could they be free? Well, you've seen sometimes the bees will just go get lost in the sea. Uh, I think especially in an area where they could wander away, probably better to keep them contained for maximum production. The end of the chest there, we put our final, or pardon me, at the end of the line there, we put our final chest, which is very exciting. Uh, Highly recommend covering the dirt blocks, otherwise endermen are going to rob your stuff. We don't need to worry about that because we have endermen griefing off. But otherwise, true. Now, what we're probably going to want to do is hop up on top of the glass there. Remove the slabs. And once we remove the slabs, the bees are going to pop out. Bees! Bees! Everywhere! All right. So now we have bees. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to... Clicking on the bottom of the hopper here. Wait, how do you how do you do that? There's supposed to be a very interesting trick. Where you can place... Uh, maybe I can reach the, the dirt block that way anyways. Oh no! Did you eat my flower? Right, if you try and click down, instead of clicking on the dirt, you're just they're just going to eat your flower. Shoot. Alright, I lost two flowers. Just wait until nighttime. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. <clears throat> My flowers. What's up, Tuna? Alright. Maybe, maybe this hopper trick works. So where do they say to click? Add flowers into the farm using the hopper hitbox. Oh! Two. Where am I supposed to click? Oh, if you click on the under... Oh my god. So the place to click for the hitbox is actually the underside right there. That's so interesting. Oh my goodness. Why do people always want us to kill things and... No, a bee got out! Kill things in this game. You gotta, you gotta pump the brakes there, friends. Bees are friends. Oh, it's a baby bee! 
That's why you need to wait for them all to grow up, because the baby ble bees can fly out. Okay, well, we're going to have slightly imperfect numbers here. It wants to get back in, but it can't. No! No! Oh well. Oh well. Maybe, maybe what I can do here is once they all go to bed, I can break this one piece of glass and then that bee will fly home. I need you to go to your home as well, bee. All right, have you gone to bed as well? Wait, how did you, what? Go to your, go to your home? Right, there's no point in doing this if it's a baby bee, it can just fly back out. Ah, uh, oh, did I, br you're right, I did literally, wait, I did breed one, but it found a way in anyways, so, huh. All right, final thing we do for this farm. is we take all of the glass jars. Gonna need a staircase up. Now there's eight, which means we wanna make piles of 32 here. This doesn't seem like enough. What is happening? How is this happening? Where will you end up if I do this? You're all ending up in the first chest. This, this distribution system is useless. You'll need like 152 stacks. Why not just leave as a stack of 32? So if we check out the tutorial here when they talk about stuff. Add bottles to dispensers. Make sure you don't leave any empty spots, otherwise it'll break the farm. So you need to go through and just fill. Yeah, so you want to fill everything here. Obviously, we could make some more if we really wanted to. Anyways, what that's supposed to do is now... How do I get it to fire the first time? Do I need to drain the honey out of it the very first time so that it actually just works? I don't know. Probably, maybe? Oh, they're pissed. Oh, oh. Oh, it's magic. Ow! Oh. Uh. Maybe break and replace the redstone? Okay, okay, okay. I think this should be automated now. Uh, give me one second, friends. Joe needs a quick hand. Be right back. Holy moly. So Joe's making uh, homemade katsu, like chicken katsu curry. And just wanted a quick double check on uh, how the chicken is looking. Just like, is this cooked? And it looks and smells so good. Just like, holy moly. All right. So we got six of these. Oh, hi. That was terrifying. So I think the bee saga... I think it might be done. 
I think we might we might be done with all things bees, which is amazing. We might be done. See what I did there? Good joke. I should get Joe to share her link. I can ask. I can ask if she'd like to share afterwards. All right. Uh, we need glass in here, probably a little bit. Hey, what's up, Robot Hitchhiker? Another diamond bean! Thank you so much for two years of support, my friend. My goodness. If I could get some hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so now I'm going to change gears ever so slightly. We're just going to chill and we're going to build ourselves a house. Oh, we had orange dye. Interesting. Uh, where do leads go? Maybe in this animal box? Sure. The 26 excess leads I made. I can just hear the gentle pitter patter of frying in the other room. And it's making the already hungry me just like so much hungrier. Let's make some more chests. I might have to go and do more end busting. Can't believe I'm almost out of shulker boxes. So can they add a netherite for the next layer of beans? Oh, we already have the three-year bean. We already have it scoped out as an emerald bean. But I guess we could do netherite next, certainly. 7.30 a.m. time for breakfast. That's exciting, Mungo dude. All right. Well, that's good. We've got ourselves a passive bee farm. Uh, you know what? I think I think to be safe, I should absolutely fill that with more uh, more glass bottles, eh? Am I gonna, not going to give that farm a nice outside aesthetic? Well, let me finish the house first, right? Because I think it'll be kind of silly to work on... the surroundings and not actually finish our house. And the house is getting pretty close, right? Oh, this is just running. To be safe, ugh. Just saying the word be longer isn't a pun. <laughs> so the only downside with this system, it's very good for filling a hopper worth of items. But if you need to fill more than that, you kind of need to turn the system on and off a few times. I ended up converting an entire shulker box of of um, glass into sand, other way around, sand into glass. And it takes a little while because we've only got, yeah, one hopper, one hopper mine cart, and then like eight furnaces, 16 furnaces. So while it's a very efficient system once it gets going, when you do very, very, very large volumes like this, it takes a little bit of, a little bit of finagling. Don't be grumpy. <sighs> if you have that huge box of glass, do you need to make more in the furnace? Yes, all of that glass is for the gold farm. All that, all that glass is spoken for. I mean, I guess realistically, I could use all that glass and then like come back later and then smelt more, but you had extra redstone automate pickup. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just like a little, a little detector thingy right there to be like, if there's something to go in, pull. I mean, the weird thing for that though, is again, if it's not empty, so it'll come back, sit, um, put in probably 16 items and go back and forth, which is a little bit faster, but yeah. So much unused experience. Yeah, it's fine. What you gonna do with all that glass? All that glass inside that box. Uh, I'm gonna get 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 you gold. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> get you love drunk off my gold. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Please, it's a musical reference. Alright, I should be able to just leave that now. Hey, look, more glass bottles. This is an okay, you know, as far as like beginner base smelters go, this is like a respectable one. Make honey farm to get honey, to make a gold farm to get gold to profit. Yeah, you got it, Mungo. It's starting to get human enough that, like, all my ice glasses are sweating. And so, like, magical coaster tricks and just, like, dripping, sweating, iced beverages everywhere. Ugh. So, how many bottles do I need? Somebody said you needed... I needed how many stacks to make this good? Will we make the gold farm today? No. No, we have to wait quite a while for the enough honey to produce. I might be able to start it on Wednesday's stream. But today, I think the remainder of the stream, we're just going to chill, make our house pretty, do some yard work. You know. 152 stacks? 152 stacks? What do we know? Nine o'clock tomorrow? Probably decorating our nether farm. But uh, that's what James does. That's a lot. If you put salt on the coaster, it helps it from sticking. What? That's so big brain? Holy moly. How many hives in the system? Eight. Wait, did anybody else just hear a drowned? I mean, we are under the sea, so that makes sense. That's a trick you learned from a bar. Really? Huh. Yeah, but then you got salt on your coaster. How do you reconcile that one? Uh, you know what? Let's just put a little bit of extra in there. Just a little bit of extra something something, right? Lick the coaster. I mm, I mm. <laughs> Uh all right, let's just backfill from this side. That'll put a little bit of extra stuff in there. Sure. Whatever, let's just put another 32 in each of these. That'll that'll hold me over for a bit. We're not quite there. Ooh. Okay, so I need like three more stacks and then that'll give me enough that I don't think I have to worry about it breaking. But yeah, the hopper at the top is not, is not the distribution system I was hoping for there, holy moly. Oh, what if you just hired a bunch? Wait, I had, I literally had it in my inventory. How? <sighs> Hi. Is there a way to modify this so the empty bottle near the bottom instead of having to jump to the farm every time? Uh, probably. But I mean, we also have the magic of flight. Yeah, this is, this again is a totally serviceable design. Man, bees make some weird noises. Okay, nine in each of them. Okay, six in each of them. Nine in each of them, great. That should last me quite some time when this is done, right? All right, 
Right, so I just need... Oh. There. There. Okay. So we only have one that's short. We just need 32 bottles for that. I'm, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. How many honey blocks do we need for the gold farm? 11. We need 11 honey blocks for the gold farm. So not a ton. Why is honey block needed for the gold farm? No idea. All I, all I'm doing right now is grabbing the, uh, all the blocks we need. All right. Let's start, uh, let's start planning this. And one of the things I'm probably going to need to do first is I'm probably actually going to need to move all of this and just push it back a little bit to like here. All right, we're going to make a big old mess. And that's okay. That's okay. Maybe we could also do some more, <clears throat> maybe we could do some more, um, like custom mushrooms and stuff today too. More pretty looking blocks, right? So something I think that's going to make this look really good is if we can add a bit more variation like height and depth and stuff like that. And I, one of the plans I had is to actually add a bit of like yard space and greenery that comes out and almost like a almost like a porch I think that'll look really good and it'll also add a bunch of shape to this house because currently I think it, it's feeling a little bit flat but we'll see So let's grab andesite now. So it's going to be interesting. It's probably going to take a little bit of trial and error, but... I think if we make the platform too big, it'll look weird. And if we make the platform too small, it'll also look weird. And I don't know quite where that sweet spot is, but I imagine, and I, I'm sure some of you can picture this in your minds, in your mind's eye as well, a spot where this is going to look really good. And let's try here for starters. And maybe it comes out from here. Because then the other thing that we can do to make this look really interesting is maybe even like here. We want a portion of it to be grass, and we probably also want a portion of it to be, what's the opposite of grass? Uh, to be like a path block that you walk on. I think that'll also look really pretty. You Picture the tree. <laughs> uh, I just need some regular old dirt blocks here. Grass is weak to fire. Oh no. Breaks line of sight from the portal at that size. I'm. Breaks line of sight from the portal at that size? We'll see. Hold on. Hold on. We're still just working on this, right? And we can always try it out. And if we don't like it, we can always adjust it. But we can have a staircase here now as well, which I think would look really cool. Maybe we only make it one thick, so we could have another strip of grass here. <sighs> ah, 
I especially like this because then we could do like a shrub along the side here or something like that. But this is kind of weird. Maybe... Maybe it's just one? It'd look better. Like this is another reason to maybe go wider because there's not a lot of room for detail. The smaller it is, right? Trying to get something to give it a little bit more shape in the front. So, like, we can already see how how that could look in some places. Maybe that's not right there. Maybe I just do, like, a raised garden to the right. I like the raised garden. Maybe we just do, like, a little garden on that side and not the whole thing. This is why I'm saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to struggle with it a bit. Oh, no. I was like, what's that noise? Oh, no. I hate phantoms so much. There's so many of them, too. Do I have a bed down here? I do have a bed. Okay. Uh. Maybe try making it two steps. That's interesting. What's a phantom? A phantom is a newer mob that was added in 1.14 uh, that haunts your dreams if you don't sleep for three nights. And they're terrifying. The noise they make is awful. Oh, well, they're gone now. Yeah, they literally scream at you to go to bed. Uh, let's try breaking this up a little bit. Uh, maybe not from there. Maybe we do it from here. So like, ignoring everything else, I want to get this corner right, and then maybe that can inspire us from where we want to go after that. So give me a second, let's, let's get rid of this for now. And this is going to be a bit of trial and error, and that's okay. Hey, what's up, the POV? Thank you very much for 17 months of support. Long, hard day. Glad to have some Minecraft and chill. Welcome, friend. Alright, let's just get a bit of, a bit of house down for right now. I don't know why I'm terraforming this right now, but here we are. So if I wanted to make that look good, I would need leaves. And I probably want a darker leaf. So let's try grabbing a bunch of spruce really quickly here. Goodbye, shears. You're too pure for this world. Thank you for your service, Cheers. Cheers, Cheers.
Hmm. Was that the detail I wanted it to be? It's always interesting when you picture something in your mind. Maybe it's the wrong color of green. Maybe it's too high. Maybe too high is too high. Maybe it just wants to be one high. Oh, it looks way better with just one high. There we go. And then if we went and grabbed some of those flowers, or did I put all those flowers away? So that, that sort of was describing of how I wanted that shape around the exterior. And look at how, look at that very, very, very minor amount of detailing and how cute that looks. That flight seemed, yeah, that flight may have been a little bit useless. Uh, another detail I want to add to the house here, and tell me if this is too much or not. Uh, oh, I need more chocolate if I want that to work. All right, one second here. Tell me if you like this detail or not. If we like it, we can add more. Just try to add a little bit more variation. Oh, I like that a lot. So now it's just not a flat line. The roof has a little bit more interesting things going on there. Also delicious chocolate details. Yeah, I think I like that. Let me know what you think. I wonder if we put it up here too. Looks good. Nice. Yeah. I think that I think that just adds a little bit more something something going on there. Something we could potentially do too is you see that spot right there. No, I don't know if I need to put a detail there or not. Another area that could definitely use some detail is like here, right? It's just like this large open face right there. Hmm. But let's keep doing the exterior first. Zoom, zoom is a thing from uh, uh, Optifine. I think it looks really good on the upper levels, but I think it brings the roof above the entrance too low. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we could probably we could probably get rid of that here. Right, we don't need it to hang any lower here, right? Put on a bill. Yeah, here's a completely unique idea that no one's thought about. We hang a bell, and every time we go to work anywhere, we ring that bell, and we just shout, back to the pit, or, or whatever. I, I like it. I like it. What's up, GM Collins? Good to see you, friend. That was a good back to the pit voice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we could probably put another mushroom here. Uh, we should also put a window in here, or a couple of windows, or maybe even another... Oh, shoot. It was the word of the day. Another dormer? Is that what that's called? Because we've, we've started making that face look really cute. Yeah, that needs something... So look at how it's such a small detail, just that little box there, but look at how much more shape 
and purpose and definition that's given the front there. That's sort of what I was going for, and I think that that was a success. Even just that by itself was a success. It adds a highlight color, which is great. And I think I'd like to do another one down here. Oh, I should make a, maybe a small custom tree or something. Hold on. What if, what if we try to lower one here? I wonder if that'll work. And we'll figure out the entrance after that's done. Please stop. There. All right. So if we have that, then we do. Everyone, everyone always has very carefully manicured shrubs, right? I wonder if I should make these ones like a little bit more organic. Oh, actually, if I really wanted to, hold on. I wonder if we want to go for like an overgrown look. So let's go. Let's pull out some more rockets, and then I'll ask you which you prefer. So one side we have like very manicured, and the other side we have kind of a more overgrown area. And you know, both are pretty. Speaking of little touches, maybe iron trap doors on the inside of the top window for curtains. I'm not sure what I want to do for the interior yet, because I don't know if I want that to be functional or not. I might just wall it off. But anyways, let's look at... Manicured versus not manicured. I can't really actually even tell in that corner. I need, like, another plant in there. Or a little buried light source might be a good idea, too. Um, we want glow shrooms. The chimney's cute. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with the chimney. Let's grab all the remaining glow shrooms we have, which I think is about like 12. 14! Wouldn't longer ferns be better for overgrown? Probably, yeah. How about berry bushes? Oh, berry... I mean, yeah, I guess there are literally bushes in this game that already suit the aesthetic, right? Is that too bright? Yeah, those are... It's a lot lighter. Hold on. I think the suggestion here, or the fix here, is you actually bury it one even further down. But yeah, I think a lot of people are saying cleaner is probably better. I think I agree with you on that. Help, I'm stuck under this mushroom. So we're going to use this as interesting like corner lights for the house. is always an interesting way to light something up. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we don't want it to look overgrown or abandoned. I do like the idea of the manicured garden. Yeah! Okay, apparently I just can't ever jump on top of this. Do you like the one high or the two high? I think just the one high is a better look. I think it's a much cleaner look. We could bring this out too, though. Grab another wall block there. Do I have one of those on me? I guess I can just make one on the stone cutter. 
The fact that I can make one block is so cool. Does that even make sense? I think that makes more sense, honestly. Okay, now what we want to do is we actually want to pull this back a little here. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some two high flowers and put those behind. I think that'll look really good. Wherever those might be. What is that light block? That's a new shrimp block introduced in 1.16. Roses, all right. Roses, it is nice, right? Red splash. So other options could be if we don't like red, we could go get two high pink flowers. Oh, Joe has one right there. Actually, hold on. We could actually test this. Neat little thing about two high flowers is if you bone wheel them, you always get a one to one back, which is great. So my goal here, oh wait, peonies are only one tall? No, 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 they're two tall. Uh, maybe roses? Okay, I think the roses are stunning. I like the one tall for this side. Oh my goodness, hold on. Joe just brought me lunch. I didn't really get much of a view there. Somebody put a uh, somebody put a cliff in the way. Oh, that looks so cute. Can I even see it from here? Maybe this viewing mushroom. There we go. I think that looks great. I don't think we need the pink there. I think just that splash of red actually works really well. And I like the one white flower we have there as well. I don't like the red with the brick personally. I think it looks nice. I think I think the med red, the med, I think the red also matches the red mushrooms we have everywhere too. Also friends, I need to show you something. I'd like to show you Joe's hard work. Behold our homemade Japanese chicken katsu curry. Holy moly. I think today might be another day for a great um, anthropology and lunch. Lunch and anthropology. That's how I, how I word that. Uh, Joe, the Discord is going to want to know how you made this. So just, just, as, a, just as a heads up, be prepared to have to field some questions here. Joe just said she improvised. She made it up on the spot. Oops, that goes there. Okay, I'm gonna grab myself some blocks because I don't trust my mushroom island anymore. We're gonna go over to our honey farm Look at this! Look how much honey we already have, friends! Yo! Good job, little bees. You're working so hard.
Oh, I forgot a torch. That's already the 10 blocks worth? That's amazing. Uno. Oh, good. Another thing that doesn't stack. To f that stop stacking at 16, right? Yep. Good job, bees. I'm proud of you. All right. We're going to do that. And we're going to do this. And now we're safe. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lunch and Anthropology. Today on the show, Japanese katsu curry and Joe's hard work. Now, uh, some of you may or may not be aware that covers all the bases, but isn't phrased very well. Well, this Twitch chat is part of a St. Andrew's social anthropology study. St. Andrew's University anthropology study, basically examining what it means to be a community in online spaces, which is very cool. Anthropologist Abroad is the person doing their dissertation on this effectively. And for the past couple of weeks, we've actually been having really interesting lunch conversations where we talk about a specific topic on Twitch, like Twitch meta theory. Yeah, I think my introduction is complete. Please take it away, anthropologist abroad. Why entomb yourself? Oh, contingent cat. I've literally already died once today. We have discovered... I think there's an interesting clip, which is uh, pretty weird. All right. Anthropologist abroad said, This may be skewed towards bees today, but trying to think generally. How important is humor and jokes in how you use chat? Oh. It's come up quite a bit. Are we talking about why so many people in this community like to punish me with puns? Do people just want to try and make the streamer laugh? Interesting. They're fundamental. Boo, Kitsune. I think it depends on the stream you watch. Puns are very important. Puns are a necessary tool in our war against streamer oppression. What the? What? Well, congratulations, anthropologist abroad. Chat. Chat is now unusable. <laughs> Yeah, but why puns? Thirsty Kitty says, I enter chat to try and make a streamer laugh. Nice. Oh, I like what the funny nerd here said. Everyone likes to make the hoax laugh. It's like Michael Scott in an episode of The Office. The comedian makes everyone laugh, but you want to be the person that makes the comedian laugh. Wow. You want to be the person who makes the comedian laugh. Interesting. Huh. Thirsty kitties. I hang around, backseat, and build bots, but I enter for laughs. <laughs> Fascinating. You try and make artisanal jokes. Interesting. Humor is good for keeping the tone of a stream light. In more serious streams, it's less prevalent. Totally. Totally. But like, what even is a serious stream? I guess I always think of like, I don't know, high level competitive games. Maybe people aren't joking as much. I like Sarah Bell's, Sarah Bye's comment on sometimes in-jokes are important for a sense of, like, community and belonging. You ever just think about holes, right? <laughs> mm. This is really good, by the way. Yeah, imagine if every time I was off by one, we just got angry. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. A clever joke. You have some people who get it and some people who don't, which can divide the room. But a bad joke. Everyone groans and the room comes together against the joke. Ah, so the puns are actually the um, the hero chat deserves. Is that is that what that is? Oh, 
Oh, all right. Like, Talking Sim is an excellent example of a serious stream. It's a show that tries to examine, like, video games critically. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Thank you again for that host, my friend. Rocks in my dryer. If you want to support some other great streamers. The bad joke theory was discussed on QI. What's QI? Where they're talking about jokes on Christmas crackers. Interesting. Gunner with 50 bits. Oh, where are we going with this? Seems like you're having a hard time talking, Surge. What's the matter? Cats who got your tongue? <sighs> uh, QI, quite interesting. A British battle show. Oh, interesting. Why do I hate puns? I don't hate puns. It's like, make me stop what I'm doing. I'd probably enjoy that show quite a bit. Yeah, fair enough. Hmm. Oh, this is filling. Anger and annoyance are the only true ways to appreciate a pun. Wow. <laughs> Rocks in my dryer. I'm happy to see fellow BBC nerds here. Praise the sun. It's a good emote. Anthropology Broad says, nice. A lot of people mentioning in-jokes. What are people's experience of in-jokes in this channel? What are your experience of being inside or outside? Yeah, in-jokes are... In-jokes are interesting, right? Because on the one hand, they make, they make for a sense of belonging. But on the other hand, with an in-joke, it can actually make you feel like an outsider, which is really tough. I worry, I feel, I hope that there's a sweet spot that you can have, which is to give a sense of community for the people who are there, but not so dense and impenetrable that new people can't pick up on what's happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I think everyone can agree that an in-joke can be unifying, but to be alienated or to be outside of it is really tough. Great thing about this community is everyone's willing to explain in jokes. Hundred percent on the side of explaining an in joke to somebody who says, "Yeah, but like, even you're, you're like, all right, explain something weird." And you're like, "I don't, I don't get it." You're like, "Oh, right, you, I guess you kind of had to be there." <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Yeah, like Desert Bus, where an in-joke happens, and you have to explain it to the next shift, and they're like, what? I mean, that's a weird thing, right? So here's a great example of an in-joke, Desert Bus, where something can literally happen the shift before, and then you have to, like, chat's really excited about an in-joke, and the performers are like, I don't get it. I, I'm i literally part of this show, and chat is all about an in-joke that me as a performer, and I almost have to, like, performatively now start following an in-joke that someone else made? It's It gets weird sometimes. My close personal friend John says, in jokes, if they're really quickly explained by chat to a newcomer, can be a really fast way to feel part of something. As soon as you know it, you can be part of your in. I'm, I'm curious actually here, I would love to see this. How many people in chat right now are just off put by in jokes? How many people here are like, you know what? I get to a chat, I see too much and I bounce off of it because I want to just sit there and enjoy a show and I'm not into like impenetrable humor, right? AWOL says they're 50-50. Because I imagine there's not a small group of people. I have I have some friends who don't even like it when a community has a name. If a streamer, if a if a sub welcome says welcome to, you know, welcome to the Brady Bunch or whatever, like Brew Crew is an example too. You're just like welcome to this thing and you're like, oh, and they bounce off that. 
If a streamer isn't entertaining, I'm not sticking around to wait for in-jokes. I mean, that's fair. TK, that's me. It says about a third of the time the in-jokes are too much and then I just lurk. That's fair. My, post, my close personal friend John says, if there are no in-jokes, it honestly feels like there, there isn't a community. Interesting. Just feels like someone is performing with a bunch of strangers watching. Huh. Interesting. One of the stranger in-jokes. I watch a lot of Jorbs. His chat just says POJ instead of POG, P-O-J. And you're like, what? That's so random, but it's not that impenetrable. I just don't know why a random community decided POJ. I mean, I guess it's like Adam and Pjorg. Yeah, he's got a, a whole Pjorg, Pjorg chat emote and everything. The most impenetrable one here is Canals. <laughs> I like in-jokes. I like finding out about ones I don't know or understand. And jokes are like a barrier. The kind of barrier depends on the community. Sometimes the barrier is too strong, keeps people out. Sometimes the opposite. A community too filled with in-jokes or inside information can be hard to get into and create a feeling that the person who wants to get into the community has no means by which to join. Excellent insight, Muffins on a Hill. Yeah. Definitely don't want to create the sense that there is no way to get through an impenetrable wall of in-jokes, right? Also, Soprano Cat says, I felt like I'd been part of the Lur chat community for a lot longer than I'd actually been watching because of a ton of YouTube videos while I was recovering from broken shoulder. So it took until my first Desert Bus to realize, oh yeah, I only discovered them six months ago. Oh, interesting. A lot of that was knowing the in-jokes from watching the videos. Still don't get Teeth. Teeth was like a popular internet tweet that went viral. And then I made a super smelter that involved throwing... Uh, ended up feeding the mouth of a super smelter and it had teeth that chomped and then chat really liked teeth and then people started attributing me as creating the teeth meme I'm like no no yeah James Burner like maybe in our little niche of the world there's a lot of people who enjoyed that but Adam Adam Lavadan wasn't the teeth problem with channels that too many of their emotes are also in jokes because they're a lot less usable that's fair that's fair it's difficult when you don't watch all of loading ready run you miss some of the in jokes i mean i'll give you a little secret like a lot of content creators don't watch each other's work because we're all busy like, we produce way too much content. I don't watch all the lure streams. I barely watch any lure streams. I try and, like, at least keep up with what my friends are doing. But, you know, to say that you watch it, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. There's too much good content out there, right? All right, friends. Unless we have a good button to put on that, I might conclude lunch in anthropology so that I can get back to uh, playing video games. We'll make our house pretty. Continue to make a pretty house. Really good discussion for the research. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Actually, one second here. It's happening. Alright. Alright, everything is fine. Video games. Whoop. 
All right, let's see how much honey we have now. Yes, my precious bees. Yes. How are you doing? Yo! All right, we are getting honey rich, and I love it. The scope creeper? I mean, that's just like a tech joke. Let's be real. So I like the asymmetry of the gardens we have right now. I like that they are different heights and different widths. I think that actually makes it look really interesting. Uh, looking at it now, though, I definitely feel as though that block is missing. And we need to figure out how to make the porch now. I think that's our next challenge here for this build. What do we need all the honey for? The gold farm. So, this is what I was talking about before of wanting a raised up level. Because you can see we have this really nice border where the andesite is. But how do we also make a path? What if... Make the porks the porch access longer using slabs to step out. Hey, what's up, 50? Thank you very much for 18 months. So the plan is definitely to make a porch. The issue with the porch is I don't know where I want it to go. I know I don't want it to be straight. I want it to be asymmetric with the house. Asymmetrical? So I want it to either swing to the left or the right, and then I want a staircase that's going to come up to it. So I kind of before drew out something there, but I had an issue with... Maybe a dock to the canal. We could have a dock on the backside, though. Have I ever cursed on server? Oh, wait. Have you cursed this server? Everyone's always off by one. I think that just happens in magic. Magic? Minecraft. Brain? Oh, my God. I think the porch has to be on this side. And the issue I'm running into is how do I reconcile the porch in this lawn? Actually, somebody had a pretty good suggestion, which was why not just make it two layers and then hold on. What if I... Made it two layers. Two layers. Two layers is not the word I'm looking for right now, but I think that's fine. We're going to have to figure out which block to use uh, to, like, demonstrate how we walk. Two-tiered? That's a better word. Excellent. Two-tiered. Yes. What block do we use there? And I think that's a nice shape, because then another thing we can do if we really wanted to is... Oh, shoot. It should be one wider. Because if we make it one wider, then we can have a strip here for more... More shrubs! Another shrubbery. Right? I think that looks pretty cute. So what do we what do we make this block out of? I don't want it to be more andesite. What if I made it brick? No. What if, like, literal path blocks? Does it make sense to have the walk up to a brick house be path blocks, though, right? Basalt? Using that gray block? That could be kind of interesting. 
Do I have any on me? Why not brick? I don't know. Is it weird that the path and the building are made out of the same blocks? Honey? <laughs> I mean, something I could make out of right now if we wanted to be gray, but a slightly different thing. It could be a combination of stone and gravel, which is actually like a beautiful palette together. I just wonder if that's like enough contrast from what we're looking at here, right? Like, what's up, snake? Oops, just like randomly falling out of a tree there. Don't mind me. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. And if we added more of the polished andesite along the exterior there, maybe mix in some buttons. Hold on, let's add let's add the uh, the polished blocks right now. Where are they? Probably gonna have to make some more. We're doing every other block, right? Do, do, ba, do, do, do. Wait, did I just literally put the same block back that I just broke? Apparently. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Apparently this pattern is not going to be able to continue that well on account of odd V even here. Interesting. Is it too much if I do that? Glazed terracotta, lean into that chaos heart. I think actually that's not that loud now. I think that looks super cute. Having a yard there makes that look super cute now. I wonder if this should be over one more or if that's just fine. Maybe some stone bricks. Same color as the base, but adds a little bit more. Oh, as like an homage. That's, Serge, that's not a word. A callback, if you will. Yeah, we need to put something over the door. Yeah, a little bit of brick in there is a nice, a nice add. Yeah, that path looks great. So we've made the house look very good from exactly this angle. Uh, chimney covers that side. Ow. We don't know what to do here yet, though, or here. <sighs> like a home sweet home sign? I don't know what, what we should try and put there. Oh, right. Also, check out the buried lights. So now that we're getting nighttime there, you can see what those, why we put those buried lights in there. It gives a little bit of light to the front of the house without it being visible. And I like that a lot. So I might actually do two more of those there and there. All right, so let's grab those shroom lights once again. Oh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> All right, problem solved. 
hang a bell from the door. So the issue with hanging a bell from the door is then we have to hang something from there as well. Oh, yes? Rude. We could do uh, trap doors as a band. Uh, if we really wanted to hang something from there, we could grab like some fences. I don't know about a bell, but like... Is this spruce? That's oak. Let's get some spruce going here. So this is something I often love to do, especially if you want to hang something. Instead of just having one piece just sort of sticking out, you can use trap doors. And then it kind of looks like it's a thing. We could hang a lantern there or a bell from there if we really wanted to. I mean, it looks like, out. James was kind enough to just give us a bell. Wait, bells just hang from themselves? What? Hey, have a good one, Dudson. Thanks for hanging out, friend. Maybe I was thinking lanterns. I guess bells you can just kind of stick on whatever, eh? Alright, there's the bell you wanted. If I'm honest, now it looks like... Um, what's that piece of jewelry that you can sometimes have that just like dangles in the middle of your forehead on a tiara looking thing? Because it looks like we've made that. <laughs> It looks like a schoolhouse now. It's called a diadem. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Yeah, let's try a lantern instead. I think all the lanterns are downstairs. Diadem is how you pronounce that? Interesting. Or a diadem. Huh. I mean, let's just take it all. Like, let's be real. What about an awning? You're gonna have to remind me what an awning is. I mean, I obviously know what that word m means, but like right now, my brain is full. An awning, a little hangy outy bit. How would an awning work here? What's an awning? little hangy outy bit. Yeah, a little cover bit, right? A little cover bitty. I guess we could... I mean, this might be super silly. Hold on. First off, let's see what a, a lantern looks like first. I don't know if it needs to be a lantern. Yeah, no, I, I don't like this. I think it's too busy. But we could give it a little awning, which I think would actually look really cute. So hold on. If we just did like this... Nope. Come on. <laughs> uh... Everyone's like monobrow. <laughs> Sorry, that's a big laugh. Now we gave we gave our house a unibrow, right? Ah. Uh... Uh, this is Reginald, Reginald the Mono. Oh my god, that's really funny. I mean, if we just had one there, then it kind of looks like a weird nose, right? I don't know if an awning is going to work here. Yeah, the awning might be kind of tough. Is it that the windows don't have frames? Is that another part that's weird on this? What if I did some trap doors on both sides? Would those look cute? I don't know. Am I just going to end up creating more mustaches?
Joe suggested maybe like a little planter down here. A little planter could look kind of cute if we did... Hold on. I have an idea. Like maybe, maybe to make this a little bit cuter, we just do this. Need a one tall flower. We're on a little flower island go again. Joe says she's taken all of the flowers? You have every single flower, Joe? Let's go visit Cat Island here. Oh my god. Look at this. She has little artwork in here? Sorry, this place is actually mega cute. What is this? Oh my god, you just put all the spider eyes in a hole, Joe? Joe, uh, okay. Okay, well, I'm actually pretty jealous of Joe's little base here. Look at this! It's got a little chimney off the side, too? Oh my god. Those, uh, you want a cyan planter? Okay, hold on, we... Where's my internet? Gone again, here we go. There's a basement? So there's a swamp to the east. So let's go get some cyan flowers. There's a basement? Yeah, so there's my house, and then there's Joe's super rockin', like, extra fort over here. And I think we can all agree that Joe's... What? It even has its own basement? That's... Oh my god, it's just full of eyes. Joe! <laughs> She made a little furnace at the back. That's where the smoke is actually coming out of. Oh, uh, what you, oh. And you have your own wandering trader on top of a mushroom? Ah. <sighs> Hello? Oh, what if I just bought cornflowers, chat? No. Ah, uh, man. Joe's Cat Island is so good. Why is our island so much better than our island, chat? Alright, we're gonna go get some more different colored flowers here. Glory to Joe Shroom Island. Oh, that's very good. Bravo, mods. Bravo. Okay, we have a bed. We have everything we need to adventure. Great. Bucket of water, some torches, some ender pearls. Uh, ender chest. Wait, we have an ender chest on us already? Amazing. Okay, rocket box it. Okay, let's go get ourselves some blue flowers. We said it was to the west. West and south a bit. I'm heading west, right? Wait. Hold on. Crap. By west, I of course meant east. We're of course supposed to be going east here. Yeah, go go east, young friend. We're supposed to be going east this entire time. At the other west. Yep, everyone, everyone who said west, you were correct if you meant the other west, which I of course meant. Wait, what was that cow? Oh, you're in the water. Good job, water cow. Just wanted to show off those ice spikes. That's right, TK. That's right. <laughs> You got my back, TK. Your session's at 5.30, not 4.30. Well, welcome back, C. Dudson. I'm glad you didn't miss your session. I hope you have another hour, is what that meant. Not, not that you were an hour late. 
Yeah, to be fair, if you go west long enough, you eventually end up east. That's right. That's right. Can you imagine if we just found another beehive? That'd be pretty funny. All right. So here on the other side of this forest is where we'll find the swamp. There's the swamp. And in the swamp, we will find these lovely blue flowers. Ooh. The old lighty bluey, I like to call them. Does that work in Minecraft? No, I'm pretty sure Minecraft just kind of keeps on going indefinitely in one direction forever. All right. Uh, what do we grab? We grabbed 40. 40 is plenty. Let's head home. Fly west, young Surge. Fly west. And this time we actually mean west. Minecraft, you eventually run out of numbers? I've never really explored the boundaries of that. I know, like, the... The Psycraft people, for example. What is that pixel right there? Is that one of Joe's cats leading us home? I'm very curious as to what that... Whatever that is. Minecraft remembered that something exists right there. What are you? It's one of the llamas? We saw a llama loaded a thousand blocks away? Wow. Huh. So, I think we can say that that space doesn't quite look as empty now. Do we like the matching blue flowers there? I think it's pretty good. It looks like there are eyes now? Really? The house is crying? You don't like the blue flowers there? Oh no! Before I gave it a monobrow and now it's crying? I don't see those as tears. Oh no. I like it. I like it, personally. Do we still need to fill that space? I don't know how we would. Uh, actually, give me a second. Maybe I just thought of something. This, again, might be way too pretty. Pretty? Way too busy. But... Oh, it's not flush with the wall there, though. Maybe a trapdoor awning? I'm gonna make another awning and people are just gonna tell me it looks like a monobrow. Oh! 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 It's magic! <laughs> you know! <laughs> ah, I shouldn't make myself laugh that hard at my own jokes. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> Where are they? There we go. Oak.
whatever, let's throw this bed down here. All right, uh, oh, I need more trap uh, fire thingies. Fire thingies require, I don't even know anymore. Spruce? How do I make a campfire? How do I spell campfire? Oh, it takes coal. Why don't I use levers and trap doors for what? Like I tried putting trap doors as a awning and I thought it looked kind of weird and flat. Put the bed in the house. We don't, we're not ready for that step. That's a big commitment. And I don't know if I'm ready to move into that house yet. It's a big commitment there. We can put some more we can put some more glass jars in our bee farm. Do you get after you craft honey blocks, do you get your glass jars back or no? Really curious about that. Yes. Hey. Cool. Very cool. Above the house. Oh, you can put like a lever to make it look like a trap door is holding up. That's interesting. Uh, I have one last suggestion. Let me let me try something out really quickly. I have an idea which I think might look pretty slick. But I have to fill I have to fill these things first. If I'm gonna fill this manually, I might just take all my hoppers back. Oh, I can't take all my hoppers back. My hoppers are holding the bees in place. Right, the bees. But where are the bees? Yeah, the bees own those hoppers now. <clears throat> But look at that, we've got our 16 honey blocks, chat. I'm actually really excited about that. You can do some like pretty wild things with honey blocks. So I've heard, I've never done it before. Those are my first ever honey blocks I've made in Minecraft. I'm very excited. Okay, I need to make a campfire. To make a campfire, I need to have logs and sticks and coal. And I believe I now have all of these things. All right. The other thing I need to do is not catch fire, which apparently is a lot harder to do. Just like simply don't light yourself on fire, forehead. Look, I would if I could, but I can't. So let's uh, let's do our best here. All right, here's my strategy. What if, now hear me out, what if our awning was campfires? Because don't these always look like mega cute? And then we just like put them out. And then... Oh, butts. Our little windows here. Maybe sideways campfires? I think that wood's too light. Let's try spruce instead of oak there. It's so dark. Uh... Carpet on top? What do you mean on top? Yeah, I think we need to rotate it. I think we need to rotate it. And I think this wood is too light. All right. So first order business. Let's see if we like this wood. Oh, I like that wood better already. Because it also matches the color scheme. 
Uh, second thing we need to do is we need to figure out how to rotate rotate the campfires. Hey, what's up? All is lost. How do I... How do I do this? Yeah, make sure you get all your campfires out of the flowers before, you know, you go too far. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. There we go. Oh, I, I know how to do this. Duh. Alright, I figured it out. Okay. Yes, yes, good, good, better. It's pretty busy now, though. Is it too busy? Is it cute? It's busy. Nice house, thank you. Couple people love it. Couple people love it. Some people say it's too busy. So one issue I'm having here is if I wanted to make... If I wanted to make it one deep, then I couldn't have supports coming up because the supports are going to conflict with the flower box. Right? So that's one issue I have there, is if we like the flower box, I'd need to rethink what we do there. I could use wall blocks, which might look kind of cool, instead of the wooden supports. So if we wanted to make it thinner, which we still can... There's maybe a detail a world in which the detailing here is like andesite wall blocks. Can you make andesite walls? You can make andesite walls. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, if I'm doing that, why wouldn't I just use like polished andesite slabs there or something like that? I mean, I kind of just like that, actually. Because if we do that, then it works with the... Uh, Do we like that? It's a cute little entrance door thingy. Man, this is hard. It looks really good, actually. It looks really good. I mean, I like the campfire thing, and I probably want to do that in some other places, but I think that actually just looks fine. I think the wood melded in better. The stone looks like it might be too much. I think I like that it's pronounced. I wonder if I should drop it down one block. I think it, I think it just needs to frame the doorway, right? Let's see if it looks even better if it's shorter. Did you like it larger or smaller? I think it just plays with the depth better. That's a great way of phrasing that. I think we were trying to make it too big. A lot of people prefer larger. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's saying larger. You could also try putting the middle slab. Oh, hold on. You're right. You're right. You're right. We could arch it. Ooh. Ha 
Uh, the window's are already stained glass. They're gray stained glass, and I like that. I mean, well, actually, one last thing we could try. We could try a solid block in the middle there if we wanted to, right? Almost like an arch keystone sort of thing. Hold on. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's one more block we could try. I hate that I keep going back downstairs, but, but there's a new block that looks very, very, very pretty. That's also mega expensive. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> the netherite? No. Oh, that looked good though. No, I'm thinking uh, the lodestone. Ah. Uh? The netherite block is also stunning, but I think I love that. I've seen a lot of people in chat being like, yo, hey, what's up, Kirky girl? How you doing? Yeah, people like that. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. It looks a little bit less like a face now. I don't know if we have to do stairs on the end. I think that works. We could try, we could try stairs. I mean, there's no harm in trying. All right, I don't want to fiddle with this too, too much more, but I, no, I think we want it to be polished. Definitely want it to be polished. Stairs or slabs? I think I prefer the stairs. I think it makes it just a little bit smaller. You got engaged? Congratulations! Oh, that's awesome, friend. That's awesome. Yay, 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 yay. <clears throat> No, I think I'm going to go back with the slabs there. All right. I like that. <clears throat> now we need to figure out another side to the house here. This side. So what I want to do on this side so it's not too flat is I think I actually want to bring the windows out. Wait, if I do that, then uh, ba -ba, I can make that work. <clears throat> it's off putting. Wait, it's off getting resized. Oh, get married to an awesome person. Ivy crawl up the side, maybe. Bring it back down one. No, no, no. I'm happy where that is. I don't want that to bring it down. Have I thought about a soul fire lantern? I haven't thought about... I mean, the only lights we have so far are these uh, mushroom ones. So I want... I don't know if I want one big window on this or two big windows on this, but I kind of want to do windows that are similar to... Is it still called a dormer if it's in the side of the house? I want to have little windows that have little roofs on them, and I want to put either one big one in the center here or two little ones and i don't know what'll look better probably two maybe one big window could we do bay windows what's up uh, i'm sorry i have to look up all these terms what are bay windows yeah that's what i want i want a little pokey outie window like this and I was like, is this a dormer? Yes, this is exactly the sort of thing I want. I want bay windows. I want them to come out so they're not flat. So rather than like, rather than just being like, hey, look, windows done, right? Like by punching three holes into it, I want to instead, I want to bring the windows out. But I worry that with the amount of space we have, we might be limited in terms of how far we can bring this out, which is why I worry that we might need one instead of two. 
We could do one, I think one big bay window might look better than two little bay windows. Nikki Goth Bunny, thank you for 16 months of support. Have a good stream and hope you're staying well. I am, I really am, thank you. So let's grab some bricks now. And then let's just do a basic shape. Yeah, I think given the size of the building we have, we could really only get away with one, unfortunately. All right, where's my brick at? Grab one of these. Brick. Brick. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is an even wall as well. Fascinating. So what if we did this? <clears throat> do I have the scaffolding on me still? I do. Excellent. Yes. Taller? Because then when we put the little pointy roofy thingy on it. I'm going to have to do a slab roof for this one. I don't think a stair roof is going to work just based on the dimensions. Are you sure that's even? Yep. Because you can see there's two blocks there. They come together in a stair point, which is how it curves. But that's uh, that's even. Yeah, before we put glass or anything on it, let's just check out the shape of this thing. Uh, right, let's just do, let's just try all slabs and see if that works. God, what a mess, what an absolute mess this space is. Do, do, do. You can make brick stairs, yep. So, hold on. Stop that. Bad. 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 Ba bad. Ah, just <laughs> So this is just our proof of concept. Do we think that's cute? Do we think that needs to be higher? I think I think the width is correct. Maybe a touch higher, higher, less wide. Well, less wide is weird because if it's less wide, then we have like a very tiny window in this space, right? Would trap doors work as a roof? I don't think trap doors would work. <clears throat> I think the bottom of the brick rectangle needs upside down stairs. So it doesn't look like it's jutting out right. Yeah, we could support it. We could round it out in some interesting ways. The other thing we could do, it's tough because it's above the garden, but maybe we could end the garden early and we could actually just like bring it straight down so the house actually comes out of it there. No, I don't know if walls are going to work because of the way it works on the interior there. Have a good one, Anthropologist Abroad. Thanks for hanging out, friend. What does this look like even further away? Ignore our weird tree here. So we'll use slabs so you won't see the bricks poking through there, right? Can you make the window frame a fence? I think glass attaches now, I think. But you're right, it's very thick right now. 
And that's the thing, it's gonna stay chonky unless we make it larger. So let's take a look at the dormer we made on the side, right? Like, this dormer... Oh, I, oh, I landed that! Probably shouldn't let go. This dormer is four blocks wide, and that allows for the roof to go up the way we want it to. Sorry, what is this? People are sending me reference images. Yeah, I thought it could go straight down, which might be interesting, but the issue with that is then we have to move the garden, and I know we like the garden. And I love that the garden is asymmetrical and it wraps around the side. Maybe we move... Let's try something totally different here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let's try something completely different. And I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, but... First off, let's make it asymmetric. Let's make it four wide. Let's make it come right down to the ground. Uh, need a couple of stairs. I think I just need two. Experimental art is dangerous. Look, I'm doing my best, all right? Excuse me? Alright, excuse me? Alright, we gotta fall. I don't think I've actually fallen so many times today. It's been a it's been a pretty good non-fall day. Oh right, the reason it won't work, it'll work on one side but not the others, of course, it's that off it's off center. Is that what I did on this side? Oh, there's a solid block above that. Yeah, I love this. I think I love this. Do you too love this chat? I think this is gonna work great. You didn't think I was much of a fall guy in Minecraft? Well... Live and learn, my friend. Okay, we want a little bit of the blackstone now, just as a background there. So I need, I don't know, like a couple of... Yeah, a couple of you. It's very good, it's very cute. The fact that it's asymmetric, I think, makes it work too. Because again, I'm trying to make sure... This is something I'm trying to do increasingly with all my builds. I don't want them to be just like a square, right? Like, I don't want the walls to be a square. I don't want the extensions off the side to be a square. Is there going to be room for me here? I'm probably going to fall off the final block here. Wow, that timing. Wait, did I put wood down? No, why wood? Okay, it was only the one block. No, that's supposed to be that's supposed to be wood. It's just supposed to be a little a little touch of blackstone there. Okay, next thing I need to do. I mean if we wanted to, we could actually put another little guard in there, which would look kind of cute. Like, this could be... What? I have to go get two dirt things from it, or grass things from it. 
But this could be another very cute little window covering there. And do I have enough glass to fill this? Not yet. Is that window slightly larger than five? Okay, 16. Garden boxes in a... If I become mayor, a garden box in every window. You love it? Awesome. Love to see it. So then what we could do is this. Yeah, this is why our interior is such a mess right now, right? That's how we made the window look kind of good there. Oh, a flower pot could be kind of cute too. And that's how the window looks from this angle. Look how good that looks. See, like making a house look good from the exterior and the interior are two completely different things. I happen to have exactly one flower pot that Joe preemptively made for me. Uh, and I guess we'll throw another one of these little blueies in there, eh? Look at that! Oh, wow, I love it. And I think the fact that it's asymmetrical also makes it look even better, right? So the issue with the glass is glass doesn't play well with stair blocks. So if we want the glass to be flush, it has to go in a layer of depth there. Hey, what's up, Gunner? Shopping is done. It's way too hot and humid today. Yeah, fair enough, friend. I'm enjoying a nice, cool apartment because of the new fancy AC we got. Is that dormer out one block too far? Because I'm just looking at it. When I look at that from the side, that's actually supposed to be maybe where the... Does it come out further? No, no, no. It looks like it's an extension of that wall. Okay, that works, right? It's not out one further? No, no, no. That's perfect. Actually, that's actually really perfect. Twitch Rivals is doing a Minecraft thing right now. I know. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad I didn't get the final invite for that, but I was really hoping to be a part of that Twitch Rivals for Minecraft. They're doing a scavenger hunt and it seems incredible and I really hope the event go those well so that maybe I could get invited to a future one. All right. I think on this side here we can do just like a small cute window. Maybe or two. Wait, what height are we doing the windows? Are the windows one above? Yeah, they're one there. Okay. James was kind of bummed out on stream earlier. Uh, I don't know about that. James very rarely gets like actually upset, upset. He would have been like, ah, oh, this would have been really cool. But yeah, James and I, uh, I imagine, I'm, I imagine what Twitch Rivals does is they reach out to a bunch of folks to make sure the event doesn't get filled. But there are some huge content creators in Minecraft, which is amazing. I am but I am but a, a, an itty bitty baby in the bigger world right there. But to even be to even be like on the short list of invites I found to be extremely flattering. And then yeah, maybe this goes well and they open it up because they only invited sixteen they only locked in sixteen people. Oh, that looks so good. All right, let's do that on this side as well. Have these windows line up symmetrically. Uh, I think we can just get away with an itty bitty window or two here. Maybe, maybe a larger window actually. Hmm. Hmm. You'll get there someday. It takes time, luck, privilege. You know, <laughs> the easy things. 
One taller, maybe? We'll go one taller with this window, and this one is going to need maybe a little bit of a frame. I'll probably just take wooden stairs and do just like a very small awning with that one. Maybe the back door. Right. Actually, maybe instead of another... Maybe instead of another window here, we have something on the side. Nemo! Thank you very much for that raid. Welcome, friends. Yeah, maybe we don't want this to be symmetrical. Maybe this can be a side door. You're right. You walk down and there's a little dock here. I like that. I like that idea a lot, actually. How's your stream? What were we up to today? need more glass. We're working on our cozy little island home here. I feel like it's going pretty well. It's certainly looking pretty. Alright, so if we want this to be all glass... And then we want... Uh, how do we want this to work? Maybe this is the campfire window? Oh, what about that? What if this was the campfire window? Do you think that would work? We can just go straight across there. Yeah, let's give that a try. You didn't know there's a study being done here? It's pretty cool. It's another very cool part of... Uh, Like how the stream has grown. So that's spruce. That's probably fine. Uh, the campfires are there. That's probably also fine. This has been neat. Trying out a lot of like new and different building techniques right now. Try and make all of this work. So if I wanted it here... Nope. Nope. Game, game please. There we go. So if I wanted something to support that, because I think that actually looks really cute there. I wonder if that works. I think that could look really good. I just don't know if it looks really good here. You don't think it's small enough to need supports? I need. I think I need to move that mushroom. I don't think that mushroom does a lot right there where it is. It's also sitting on top of a brick wall, which is also kind of weird. Love to have an IRL campfire right now. Been too busy with work. Yeah. We don't have much room for it. <laughs> boo, boo, I say. Alright, I need a slab. Okay, let's tear that down. Get out. I think that's kind of cute. It's lighter, though. It's definitely lighter than it was. And I think that vertical strip is a little bit too busy. So what happens if I get rid of the support there? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. It's a very different style of window than we have anywhere else on the house though. What do you think? I think it's cute. I don't know if it works. Because that style of window is just so different from everything else we have right now. That does look like a nice window into your life. Makes it feel lived in and not planned. That's sort of the thing I want to do again. Like, I don't want a house that's just a big square. Like, I love this chimney. I love the chimney with the frame. I like how as we go around the exterior here, ignoring all the weird little, like... Here's the parts of our base that are still, like, obviously early game farm stuff. And here's the parts of our base that we're trying to start making things pretty. Your name is so long. It's just so long. Uh, you know, what's up, Frisk? The house is looking amazing. It's getting there. It's looking pretty cute. I worry now that actually, like, those row of shrubs are kind of silly looking. I think I want to offset the spaces they have there. So I think what I want to do here is... I think I want to do this. Yeah, I like that better already as well. All right, so love the front of the house. Let's head over to the side here. Let's hop on top of another viewing mushroom. Does it work? I think it does. It's interesting. This is definitely like a lot more modern looking. Like the other side looks rustic. But when you check it out from this side, it suddenly looks... I think it works. I think this place is coming together. All right, so we want a door on this side here. So let's move this around. Feels both functional and well-placed. Well, thank you. There we go. <laughs> uh, thank you, mods. Hope you're having a good day. Very busy day. Is school out? What just happened? So many, so many just like, yeah. Chris is like, I'm out of patience. I'm done. Can I get some hearts in chat, please? From our very hardworking uh, moderators doing their best. It felt like, it felt like the rhythm of a knock-knock joke. And you're like, okay, I'm bored. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. On the one hand, it's like, don't engage with the trolls. But on the other hand, it's just like, celebrate celebrate your hardworking mods. I absolutely love them. Yeah. Knock, knock. Good. Yeah. You're banned. What? I didn't even get to the joke part. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. Alright, so this is going to be a side door, and we could probably do something really cute out here. I do want to see if I can't make another, like, covered extended patio out here. So I want to bring this out a little bit further, because I think this will look really nice. And then we could probably have a staircase that walks down here to, like, a little dock, which would be kind of cool. I don't, I also don't want to make, I, pardon me, English. I also want to make sure I don't block off access to the canal. So if we want to have a little dock, I'll probably like carve into the island, I guess.
Wait, that's all smooth stone. Interesting. How did I not notice that previously? Bring, bring, bring. I'm loving this. <clears throat> Ow. Ow. Don't mind me. Sorry, llamas. I startled you. All right, do I have another dark wood door? That's pretty easy to make another one. Honeycomb block would make for a cool outdoor patio. What's even the honeycomb block? Wait, hold on, are doors this height? Instead of a patio, what about a tiered deck? Well, it might end up being tiered anyways. So one of the big things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to play around with different levels in this place. So I wonder if actually for this expansion, it might look kind of neat if we did this. I don't have any of the other block on me. Shoot. Need some granite. Yeah, because then you walk through here. Or you walk through, sorry, and then you like actually step down into this room. I think that's actually kind of cool. I think that's mega cool. So I'm going to do very, very, very sparingly. We're going to add some polished granite to this. Hey, what's up, Gisab? Thank you very much for gifting a sub to Quirky Girl. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your support and generosity. Serge, I want you to know that what you're building is very pretty. Thank you. I'm having a lot of fun. I feel like I'm really challenging myself with this as well. Oh, I didn't actually mix up much of the, uh, the block palette here at all, did I? Yeah, come on. Oh, no. This is coming together nicely. There's certainly a while there when I was just like, nope, this is never going to work. I'm dumb. I'm bad. And you're like, search. It's okay. It's okay to try something. Fail. Learn. And then move on. And I feel that that, uh, yeah, this build, build is a reflection of this. Because if you're here at some of, like, my first attempts at this, I, I was definitely struggling. I was having a very hard time. I was getting pretty hard on myself about it, too. This building has been an adventure. Thank you. Okay, little, little spots of this polished granite looks so nice in this. It really just makes the wall pop, eh? Look at that. Oh, I love it. 
I think too much of it would be obviously too much, but just little blocks of that. All right, let's put everything back. The amount of effort and care has been impressive. Thank you. I mean, hopefully you're also enjoying watching the creative process here. It's interesting. There's definitely people who like just watching Redstone. There's people who like watching the creative stuff. People like to watch me fall in holes, you know. Chaotically random. Thank you very much for half of your support. Whoop. Enjoy your new bean. Six months means you're getting nice and roasted. Oh, right. I was doing... Shoot. I was putting a door back there. It's calming except for the flying. Yeah. All right. Oh, so I want to put windows... Right. I was going to move all of this down. Because I like the idea of this... Again, trying to play with the idea of height in this build. I like the idea of that it's shifted lower. I wonder if I should almost... God, that'd be such a big rework. I wonder if I should almost knock the uh, the roof down a level here. Or is that way too much work? Because I think if I want to give the illusion that this is like a little attachment that came in later. Then I want this to be shorter. Just raise the floor. Oh, I could. I guess I could accomplish the same thing. I think what I could do... Actually, great suggestion from Girl Painting. Raise the floor. What if I raised everything? What if I raised the earth here too, right? Yeah, reworking... Well, reworking the roof is also going to do... Something interesting of just make it look smaller from the profile. But you're right, that's a lot of work. But I think instead, if we... Yeah, because the roof is so big there, right? Yeah, let's raise that up. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Our... That looks good from here, though. Yeah, let's go up one higher. All right, I like your idea. I like your idea. Oops. All right, so for doing that, okay, we're putting the door there. I've got so many stones, this is fine. Okay, grab some grass, grab a bunch of andesite. Make it too higher. If I make it too higher, then these windows might get a little weird looking. You know what I mean? Maybe that's fine? Is that, is that too small if we did that? What do you think? I don't know. We have windows going all the way up there. That's probably fine. That's what I'm talking about, though. Like, the roof is so big there. Let 
You don't like the windows without trim? We have windows without trim already and they look fine. Behold. Like, we like that window. Maybe two windows is too much? That's uh, too much granite as well. You like that better then? Nope. <laughs> it's still too high. Yeah, well, that's what... I mean, that's what's going to happen if we want to raise the floor up too, right? <clears throat> so, I can bring it up one, but if I bring it up two, then we end up with this, right? But if I don't... Sorry, I have to bring it up that high, because if I only bring it up one, then it's just in line with the previous floor. We can't... Like, sorry. If we have it here, this is the same height as the rest of the building. That's not raising it up one at all, right? Like, this is this is literally raising it up two. Because previously I set it down one. This is just the same height as the rest of the building. So if we want to raise it up one block, this is the consequence of not raising, of not dropping the roof down. So to bring, to bring the floor up and maintain the same ratios, this is what you get. Just get rid of the wall. Uh... Yeah, so if you like look at the, if we dissect the hill and everything from the side, that's where we end up. Which I think is fine, honestly. Lower the roof forehead. I mean, that's what I was suggesting. What if I raise the roof? No, I don't want to raise the roof. I think something that might look interesting on this side, especially if you're trying to make it smaller, is if... Yeah, I, I still think we might just want to shrink the roof here. Are all of the iron golems in the canal named? I believe one is still free. What about a three wide, one high window? Let's give that a try. All right, there you go. There's a three wide, one high window now. Maybe move the window over a bit and make a tiny dormer. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, it's weird because we have all these other like vertical windows, but you know. Oh, it, it looks fine. Actually, I wonder if we should have like a little tiny window there too, but nah. Another different kind of window. Every single, every single window we have is different on every side. Which I find kind of funny. Oh, that was visible from the interior as well. All right, that's fine. We'll do that. Now we're flush with the chimney, but maybe that's okay. Uh, maybe it doesn't have to go all this way. This could be like another staircase down, right? Uh, 
All right, so now we have a small door here. We'll have to clean that up, that's for sure. What if the deck was floating instead of just being solid? I kind of like the idea of just, like, I've been really enjoying the thought of the stone being poured, almost like cement being poured into an area. As opposed to, like, a support on, resting on top of beams. I think that design makes more sense for wood. I don't know why I said it so slowly when I when I pronounced it. Wait, was I grabbing here? Do I not have oh, I was gonna grab maybe some slabs? I haven't decided on anything for the interior. The interior is not gonna be today. That's for sure. Back entrance here. Yeah, I'm just trying a bunch of like shapes. Oh, I love it. Okay, so the door is open. I think it'll look better if it's closed. The door doesn't exist. I think it'll look better if it exists. All right, good. So this is our little side door here. Alright, so as we go around the exterior here. Oh, my love, a candy. Wow. I love this house. I love this house! So we need to do more in the way of greenery behind it, and I want to make a couple more mushrooms. So let's, um, let's mark where those are going to go. Do I not have any mushroom blocks on me? They're all over here. How the bees go? We have a fully functional bee farm. And it's efficient enough that we already have, we already have enough honey to make our farm. So if we're looking for balance, we don't want to block this window. So we probably want it to be here. So we'll make a custom mushroom there. Because that'll, that'll add a little bit to this side. We'll probably get rid of this mushroom. Sorry, llamas. Chris said, what about something like this? Uh, I can't actually see that link without logging into a bunch of stuff, Chris, unfortunately. And we probably want another custom mushroom, like, here. And we can maybe make a small one, like, here. Actually, let's make the small one right now. I think these are super cute. This is something I saw uh, Good Times with Scar build on like an old, an old hermit craft. Just like little mini mushrooms. Don't they look great? We could probably put another mushroom here. Have it like arching over the canal or something like that. Yeah. All right, but I think, I think we're gonna call it there. Look at this house. Look at the difference. We didn't re we didn't work on the front of this at all in terms of actually touching the house, except for the little doorway there. The rest is all just landscaping and how much of a difference adding like shape to the exterior has made for this place. Doesn't that look incredible? Then around this side as well. We have our little tiny mushrooms. 
It looks so polished. What a great day this has been. Love how it has character. How it's like different feeling from every angle. Yeah, that was the big goal again, was to make something that's interesting. To make a house that isn't just a square with a door on one side and windows on the other. And I'm not going to say this was easy. I mean, those who've been watching me build something, tear it down, build something, tear it down. And I'm really trying to challenge myself with this build. I, I've never made something like this before. And I feel like I've learned a tremendous amount from this. It's been really interesting. Really, really, really interesting. Yeah. And, and... We got bees today, and so all together, this has been a fantastic show. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Yeah, we're hitting about the six-hour mark, and considering the number of days I stream, I figured I should take it a little bit easier. Let's talk about the week. Tomorrow, I don't stream, but I'll be hanging out with Uno and James over at twitch.tv slash loadingreadyrun from 9 o'clock. We're on the same server, but a completely different perspective, which is very interesting. So hopefully you'll come and join us then, starting at 10 a.m. Wednesday, back at 9 a.m., for more Minecraft. And Thursday, Thursday I'm actually going to switch it up. Thursday, let me actually update the schedule right now, is normally a Minecraft day, but uh, something new and exciting is coming out that day, and that is Ethiopia. Uh, the latest part of the Civ 6 DLC is releasing another character that day. Where did my chat go? So I'm pretty excited to sort of just check that out instead. I'll update the schedule afterwards because I've lost chat. Oh, chat's right here. So yeah, we're, we're going to switch out that day, that normal Minecraft day, for more Civ 6, which I think should be a bunch of fun. Saturday, no stream, or pardon me, Friday, multi-pals with Ben. Saturday, no stream because it's loading really live. And then Sunday, we'll probably be playing more of that same Civ playthrough. So hopefully you enjoy all that. Uh, thank you everyone for all the subs and the bits and all the support that you give. I couldn't do this without you, and I'm very, very, very flattered that you are hanging around, checking all that stuff out. Uh, what else? Thank you to the mods for all of their hard work. Honestly, could not do this without them. Y'all are the best. The best, the best, the best, and I'm super lucky and privileged that I get to keep doing this. So, big heart to all of you for that. We're gonna raid a friend! I'm gonna wait for a truck to stop going by. The noisy truck is gone. We're going to go send some love over to my friend Gabby. She is playing some Magic the Gathering right now and is a super wonderful and positive friend. Thank Joe for everything. Of course. Of course. If you've never rated us before, just go spread some positivity. Go let somebody know that they are loved. Thank you again oh so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>